Ah, fancy meeting you here. Welcome to the Procrastinators Podcast. I'm the best guy ever, and let's see who we got here. We've got Give and Take. Uh, there you go. <laughs> In and out. We got Ben Saint. Uh, yes. Technically correct. Mm-hmm, Accurate. Mm-hmm. That's the best kind of correct. Mm. Uh, Tom Oliver. Uh, I did it. I'm here. I made it. Just in time. Just in the nick of time. Hmm, nobody's ready for breakfast. Uh, Mage, what's up? Apples, motherfucker. And and that's it. And that's the last one. Apples, Dude, like I do that like, apple Pokemon. That like, I, loves. like I do like them apples. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather, oh, you know what? I love oranges. There was a big debate about oranges versus apples the other day, but I gotta <laughs> tell you, apples, you, you, you mean apples, through it, through they're dog time. Not, let's not revisit the juice debacle. I, the, the, what the hell no happened? juice, but let me just tell you, the best thing, uh, one word, uh, grapefruit. Grapefruit is yeah. the greatest fruit You're right. on the planet. You're right, and no it one appreciates so good. it. Nobody appreciates grapefruit. Literally no one else in the entire world likes these... grapefruit but me. What the fuck? Don't be one of these hoity-toity motherfuckers with your grapefruit scissor and your spoon putting sugar on it. Yes, that makes it like a fucking oh, bowl yuck. of sweet cereal. Oh, it's, no, it's you not, peel it, it like an orange. That's so, fucking, like an orange. that's so fucking yucky. That's so fucking gross it's that people are overly like, well, put, put my fucking ju-. Yeah, like, a grapefruit's fucking sweet already, you fucking coward. It's, it oh. stinks of the bourgeoisie, and I'll have none it's, of it. I'll it's something fucked it. up's going on. You know, there. if you you're know like, that, mm, sugar would add of the something. Class divide, pure sugar would add something it. to this experience. I fucking hate uh, sugar in most foods. I feel like it's sugar a is sweet enough. What? Like if it, like like to have like uh, mm. like sweet chili or like sweet and sour. Uh, food like mm-hmm. sugar in like a savory food, like a main course. It just feels like barbecue wrong. sauce. On I something? hate barbecue sauce. It's disgusting. No, no, I don't agree no, with that. No, no, I read no. a it's recipe. It's the worst yeah. fucking shit in the world. I, re- I read. I read a recipe on r slash keto recipes that was for. Mm-hmm crustless keto pizza funny thing about this pizza is that you just fucking put cheese on a pan and bake it mm, and the mm. cheese just becomes the crust it's really funny um you know that's that's like a weird take on the that. fact that just getting rid of the put... middle man you're but... only there for the sauce and cheese anyway that's all <laughs> yeah you really it's like <laughs> like like if you don't do this complicated thing where you use all these alternate oh, almond flour for the crust call it no just mm. no crust cheese on the pan just bake the cheese just eat the cheese um but then this guy who was like, if you want to do like a fancy sort of sweet pizza, sprinkle mm-hmm. a little stevia on top of the crust. Oh yeah, stevia. Like, what the what the fuck? I don't get that. Like, are you I fucking who, kidding who, me? Who on this fucking god's green earth has sweet pizza? That sounds like a nightmare. I mean, there I are mean, like I those underst- cookie pizzas. Okay, and- I mean, I understand like Hawaiian pizza has pineapple on it. Is that that's not my thing? But like, I get it in concept. But to just sure. take Gross. like some fucking like sugar substitute and just sprinkle it on top of your pizza you must be fucking high bro i mean what's wrong with you uh, some places have like cinnamon breadsticks you can get like and they're they're very similar to like the normal garlic it's like that just is you know but we're not talking about making a cinnamon pizza or like a dessert pizza this is just a regular pizza made with like cheese and fucking pepperoni i'll just sprinkle some sugar on top no yeah, the what? combination the combination of sugar and savory is what annoys me the most. Like, I love desserts. <laughs> uh, everyone can enjoy a good dessert. Mm-hmm. But, like, having a sweet thing in something that is otherwise savory really annoys me. Have you I ever also, had chocolate I, I turn my nose up it. I'm a savory boy. I'm a, I'm a spicy boy. A savory. I'm a savory, mm, spicy you're being boy. You're very elitist Guys. right now. And that's all. Guys. <laughs> what? Have you Go ever on. Had, have, you, have, you ever, have you ever had chocolate pizza? Uh, that sounds just like, like a pancake. At like Domino's, I've had like the like dessert pizza, which is just like an Oreo fucking frosting thing. Shaped I've like had a pizza. Ice, I had a chocolate ice cream sandwich where I just got two <laughs> slices of white bread and put uh, chocolate ice cream in the middle. <laughs> it's actually really good. Bread I goes had, well with it. I had I had chocolate pizza from Asda and it sucks and I'll never have a chocolate pizza again. <laughs> okay. You know, there's a there's this place nearby though. It looks like the Buskin Bakery or something. They have a food truck outside that is uh, it's like ice cream donuts and they have uh, they have like these. They give you a warm like freshly cut donut. They cut it in half and in between they put like a layer of like pizza. You know, I think I had like raspberry ice cream. It was fine. It was okay. It just oh, felt damn. like a donut and ice cream and I was not overly impressed. Sounds so. all right. Um, yeah, I okay. also made another recipe from r slash keto recipes. I made keto brownies, and I don't know what the fuck is wrong with them. All right, mm. I don't. It said it said 
Use xylitol. Use erythritol. Don't use stevia. I don't understand why you can't making use... this in the fucking lab, fucking I, concocting with I, magic spells I don't know. and tinctures. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to use stevia if it's like it's just as sweet if you use. But apparently, but I use. So I was like, that's stupid. I made it. I used stevia, <laughs> and it's not sweet. It's fucking. These brownies are. The texture is mediocre. The flavor is fucking like bitter. They're awful, I guess it's them chemical but I can't reactions. throw them out because they're made know. of fucking butter and almond flour, which is too precious, and I can't waste it. So I have to. I eat mean, them. I'm still shocked to this day by the fact that when you like, uh, when you what's the word? Cook? I, I don't know. When you fry onions, they turn sweet, which yeah. is which is truly stupendous. I guess I don't so. Know how that happens? I guess so, but I don't know. Something I guess changes. I fucked up. I guess I did it wrong. My brownies are mm-hmm. terrible. They're they're a nightmare. <laughs> well, that's so too I, bad. So I took the pizza idea and I sprinkled mm-hmm. stevia on top of them, <laughs> and I don't know. It's a little Voila. better. Hey, here's a fact. Here's a fact that makes me mad. The main mm-hmm. ingredient in stevia, the zero calorie sweetener, that's not mm-hmm. sugar. Do you know what the first ingredient is? Bread. Sugar. Dextrose. It's sugar. <laughs> But they remove all the bad strokes Wrong. and they only leave the decks. Wrong. And then you're super speedy. They just use a, they just use little enough of it that according to the serving to size, which is like a one packet's worth, it's under five calories worth. So they're allowed to claim that it's zero. In fact, Ooh, it is ba- it is almost as bad as just regular sugar. Don't so, use the powdered kind. Is it it's just like the sugar. percentage? The, like they have a large percentage of nothing on top of the sugar. So it's is- not it's not even that large, but yeah, some of it is just it's just got like bulk ingredients that just like bulk it up and don't add anything. So what like what's the difference between stuff. the liquid and the the sugar version? Liquid doesn't have the bulk. Steve, the stevia liquid is just like the extract from the plant, which you know. Okay. My my friend bought a stevia use. plant, and you can actually mm-hmm. like pluck a leaf off a stevia plant and chew it, and you can taste like a sweetness, like as though it's got sugar in it, because it just sure, has okay. like a naturally sweet like fucking, I don't know, oil or essence or something mm-hmm. in it or whatever the fuck it Makes is. Makes sense. You can just put stevia leaves in your tea when you're fucking cooking your tea or whatever and it'll sweeten your tea. Isn't that interesting? I'm interested. I, I, I just thought, I that, just was thought that was interesting. Yeah, 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 that yeah. people die in car crashes all the time. Oh, Speaking of what? things that are no. interesting, <laughs> let, let's get this out of the way right now. It's the fact that Pokemon is out. Right? Okay, there you go. It's out. Me and Mage have played it. It's uh, you know, here's my one minute rundown. Wait, wait, uh, it's, Nate, it's, are you gonna yeah, are yeah, you gonna yeah. talk about it on content? Uh, in like a week or two, I think. Okay. is the plan. I'll I'll Eventually, close yes. my ears for now. I don't want to get spoiled on Nate's opinion. Uh, you know, uh, oh, okay, <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. Uh, I this I will surely not go into full detail here, but here in brief, uh, it's uh, it's pretty good. It's not like awful. I kind of feel like I feel bad. A little bit, because I felt, I feel too like I was kind of swept up into like, wow, looks like this game is total shit for reasons I, I don't know, like there are technical limitations that do annoy me as I play. Technical when I just like actually, I, I mean, one of the annoying, the only technical thing that's bothered me so far is that the like render distance of enemies is, uh, of people in the field is very short and you can see them pop in visibly and it like makes the world feel way less real, which is unfortunate, but that's that's a technical thing that, you know, it's not like it, they wanted to do that. Um, so it's uh, but, overall... When, when you mean a technical thing, you mean they fucking couldn't do that on, to, on current hardware? I mean, there's no way they, like, wanted to do that. I'm assuming that was a concession for, you know... I mean, it doesn't even look that, frame rates. that, like, in graphically intensive. It looks like a right. fucking PS3 game. Well, I mean, well, what's the argument here? They, like, they chose to do this on purpose whatever and engine to make the game Whatever worse. engine they've designed was not optimized. Like, it's not a well-optimized well, engine. Well, yeah, so okay, criticism for issues. that. But, like, all this, all the, oh, my God, it's, like, the worst game ever. It's, no, like, just, it doesn't bother I'm, me that much. I, no, I, it's not the worst game lump- ever. It's just technically unimpressive. Okay, I, I don't mean to yeah. lump your points in now with the, the group anger I'm, that I've I was been just sensing like, online. Because, like, mm-hmm. I, I have seen a few clips here and there. I clicked on an Arlo video for, like, five minutes because he was talking mm-hmm. about it. And I was like, yeah, what do you yeah. think? What, do, what are you talking about models? Models sure, are the same. Sure. Okay, there's controversy. Whatever, it's, it's Pokemon. Well, that, that's the worst. But thing like the about game, the game, the game just looked sort of like, yeah, yeah. The game is it, fun. It looks like a DS the, game, but on the, the on a field, bigger screen. The field looks kind of neat. The 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 only someone was telling me on Twitter that the field is really cool. The the only thing about the game that I don't mm-hmm. think is either a lateral move or shit is the yeah, field. Yeah. Um, how's the, the how do you, field, what do you think about the field? 
The fact that Pokemon are physically visible in the field and you run up and hit them, I think is a is a, uh, we have low expectations for Pokemon, right? Yeah. But considering Sh that, it's apparently. a massive jump up. It's a it's way wow. better Amazing. than it used to be. It's, they already did it in in This is hey, this Pikachu. is like the closest this is the closest they've ever gotten to a Pokemon MMO. And I've or always they, wanted a Pokemon MMO. So. They are they are wow, wow, we almost got what we wanted. Cool. Um <laughs> the, the uh, Well, no, they, I mean, they, this are, is they just already good. did they it's already did that in uh, um, uh, P Pikachu, Eevee, whatever the fuck. Well, I'm glad they beta tested it in that game for this one, the real one. I'm sure it's fine. No, 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 I'm sure also it's talking fine. about, like, max raids and stuff. Uh, th that's the MMO thing. Uh, because you, 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 you get with friends and you battle giant Pokemon, that's fun. I don't care about that at all. You haven't tried. You don't know. You don't know the joys. I, I have it. I've done it a, a couple. I mean, what? I hate organizing things with people. I just want to go do it. So, so I did a bunch you can, on my own. So you can, like, specifically join up with your friends and the people you want to play with? I think so. Mm. Or, it, or uh, do you just get randomly it, queued? Um, you're cutting out. I think out. you can I do either. I saying. believe is how it works. I'm saying, do you get randomly queued and grouped up with random people, or can you be like, I want to raid with this guy, like my friend? Um, I want to raid with my friends. Hold on. Um, if you, if you have friends, uh, and you, you say right. like, a hey, hey, I want to, I want to raid, uh, and on. people can can join, uh, you quickly, but other, but 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 strangers can join too. So you can so you can choose to do it with your friends if you want to. Yeah. But like, it's a I little, mean, it's a okay, that's pants. all fine. I appreciate that you're into that. It's how they do it because I can't, uh, I can't go into the, uh, I can't, I can't cook curry with my friends. It's very troublesome. Uh, to to get. See, these are the sort of things what? I don't care about at all. <laughs> I I only care about the like main playthrough of the game and then like the larger meta game uh, of like people. The uh, I I don't do competitive fighting like at all. But I am very disturbed by the fact that so many Pokemon and moves are removed, which will impact like the overall scene. Because I like watching False Swipe Gaming's review of you know how yeah. a Pokemon did through all the ages. That's my main connection. I uh, haven't. I have. A, I have a lot to catch up on with that guy. He makes a lot. He makes a lot over there. Uh, well, there's a lot. Short, there's a lot of Pokemon to get through. There's, there's a lot of Pokemon. Can't Not as many for, as there would for, have been. Can't wait but... for twenty twenty. The year is twenty thirty six, and it comes out. How was Eternatus competitively? Really, uh, I honestly am very excited for that video one day. Uh, I can't <laughs> wait. But uh, uh, okay. In short, this game is a pretty okay game. It's actually better than Sun and Moon. I was gonna. I, I was gonna say how to use it compared to Sun and Moon. The, the fact that there's no Sun like, and the Moon fact that all Pokemon fine. aren't in is such a massive blow. It's it's traumatic. And it's it very distressing. The uh, they it's might extremely maybe, distressing. maybe that maybe when they do the ultra maybe when they do Ultra Sword and Shield they'll <laughs> fix that. I, I I hope so. I, because I like it's obviously not play just, that game, but because it's obviously be nice. like a fake a fake limit that they just made I heard, up. I heard a rumor why the limit actually exists. Uh, yeah. If anyone cares to hear, okay. So like sure. they originally wanted to import the models from like Sun and Moon and and you know update them whatnot for for this game, uh, but they mm -hmm. realized too late uh, that like uh, whatever they were using to import models uh, failed. So they had to recreate the models from scratch to make no. them like identical, and no. uh, they ran out of time. And Nintendo wasn't going to let them extend the deadline, so they had to Def make the cut. definitely, you know, I, I, I definitely am sympathetic. wrong. I am sympathetic. How? You know, I don't know. Maybe that happened. I'm yeah, sympathetic oh, yeah, they're to gonna they're gonna recreate. They, well, okay. they made every they made fucking seven hundred Pokemon models for the last gen, and they're just they're like, whoops, can't use them. Got to make them again. No. Well, yeah, I mean, why, 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 why mess? I mean, as the as the only person here who does mm -hmm. any three D at all, uh, I can say that is that sounds patently retarded to me, even to someone with like baby level three D. Like, there's no like there there are. It's like saying, oh, I started making this game and I realized all these JPEGs I made won't import into this engine. It's like it's a fucking JPEG. There are three D equivalents from that. Export it as an FBX and import it into literally whatever you're using. Like Nintendo is assumedly like Game Freak has probably made their own proprietary yeah, game engine to make this game. So like they would know what works with it. Uh, <laughs> like, it's just it's their engine. Heard. Well, okay, look, there's no the way you can't can just happen, export right? a model and import it in. Just because like not only is is there just like standards for models like an FBX and shit like that, but like these models in the game have identical geometry and there's no way you can recreate a model with literally identical geometry it can be similar 
you could have like basically the same topology, you know, but to, it's to not going to be identical. Be fair, it's like saying that was brought up and Arlo talked about in his video briefly about like the models are literally the same. Okay, like that seemed to be based on, I, I didn't do further research, that seemed to be based on the fact that they put up like the mesh models of characters from like Sun and Moon versus in this game and they visually look the same to us. But I mean, I didn't see any kind of like technical explanation that proved that these weren't recreated. Well, you, can just, you can just look at them and see that they're all yeah, identical. Wouldn't it make sense well, if they recreated, they'd look really, really similar because they're the same? No, as they, as no, they would never. They would never look identical. All of them? Well, no. Creating a 3D, 3D model, model. It's not real life. Creating a, a 3D model is not like, like you don't type in a bunch of code and it just makes all the points you have to draw right. it basically in 3d it's you like it's like do... saying you draw a like a like a picture on like a piece of paper and then you try to draw the exact same thing it will never look exactly the same right exactly i don't will... believe you okay well you, i've you, done it if you could just, if you could just fucking copy well. paste if you could just fucking copy paste the code to have it identical that's the same thing as just importing it from this from the last generation like I can well, believe look, guys, if, if they're saying like I the reason the models are are they had to redo the models was like they had to redo the texturing because they've went from like a QVGA display on the 3DS to a 720p display on the Switch and the textures were too low resolution they had to redo them because they did they redid the textures and they redid the shaders because the shaders and the textures are higher resolution and look different that's sure. one thing, but they definitely, from what it looks like, and we're going to know soon, because like now that the game's out, people are going to be able to start ripping all the models mm -hmm. from it and do mm -hmm. like point for point comparisons. Mm -hmm. But like the models, the geometry, like when people are talking about models, we're usually talking about the geometry, not the textures and the right, mapping right. data. The geometry looks completely identical, as it was also identical in Let's Go Pikachu to the 3DS models, because Game Freak themselves had said, we're going to use these models long term. That's why we made them as good as we did on the 3DS and why we're running into performance issues because they're going to be for they're forward facing. And then a couple of years later, oh, uh, we forgot how our own engine works. We can't import standard yeah. models Look, back Tom, into Tom, our uh, engine. I, I agree. I, I agree. I, guys, here's the thing. Like, maybe I'd perhaps be willing to hear some of these excuses, but here's the thing. It doesn't matter because I'm totally 100% with you. I don't care what happened to them in development. I have no interest because the as the kind of person I am playing these games, my number one most important issue for me playing these games is this is top priority. Get all the Pokemon. Okay. I don't care. That about is any, I don't Nate, care what that is you completely to fine. That's and if you were one, arguing that point, I'd be is like, a, is a fine, but time. you're not arguing that point. You're saying I don't believe you. And saying I don't believe you is different than saying I don't care. So say I don't care from the start, and we can skip 20 no, no, minutes no, of pointless talking. I still don't believe you that it's not possible to recreate a 3D model. No, I'm sure that is it's fucking possible. impossible. To do it yeah, identically, well, if you, you know, overlay you know the that, points, you know that you know that artists make these models, right? Not just like programmers. Like it's not just about like punching numbers into a code. Look, we've we can see what the models look. We see the mesh. Why couldn't you just use that image and like recreate oh, it? You can image. You can chart it's it not out. an it's You're, not a 2D image. Huh? It's a 3D model that was created by a fucking 3D render modeling artist or whatever the fuck you call them. Like someone like 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 you, someone created it. Someone someone made all the creative decisions involved in like how does it move? Where are the joints placed? What is the fucking geometry? I'm just considering all the like versions of these Pokemon that have existed throughout time. I just have a tough yeah, time. Yeah, and they look different in every generation. Uh, you slightly, uh, yeah. I yeah. I have no idea how you can like you. Uh. Yeah, you're talking me. to it's Tom. Really, really Tom is a person. Right now. <laughs> Tom, Tom is a 3D model man. He's done a lot of this. He would know more than you. Why can't you just I, accept I, that I, you I, probably don't know what you're talking about here? I don't accept that. I don't accept that. Okay, well, point. you're like welcome, to, you're welcome really to be openly idiot. ignorant you in a public space. Right now. It's totally fine. I'm, anyway, I'm good anyway, with that. Anyway, this was just a rumor I heard. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Let's 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 move on. Let's move on to something else, please. Well, anyway, the point was, I think this game is not as horrible as everybody was getting all in a tizzy about, I'm pretty uh, but sure does have many flaws, as I'm you sure expect. it's a perfectly serviceable Pokemon experience. I, I expect and, a Pokemon. Uh, I, I got Pokemon. It. I'm pretty happy, honestly. Like, my standards for Pokemon are quite low, so like they didn't surprise me <laughs> in a bad okay. way. Okay. And actually, like, yeah. the, the, the only That's real... That's how everybody feels. The, it's you know, funny how you guys are... You're saying exactly what I expected as though, like, it's good. I, I <laughs> like, as though like, I should be I happy like about game. any I'm of this. sorry I'm having fun, but I am. I it's, it's am so not fun. upset that you're having fun, but, like, 
I still think everything they did is bad. I don't, I'm not arguing You're that You're focusing necessarily. on all the bad stuff, because you haven't played the game and experienced any of the good stuff. So how would you, there's no basis it's for like, It's like, you can you can say that, like, there's this is a fun game, it's another good quality Pokemon experience. And also be like, Game Freak were kind of cunts for lying about all this shit. Yeah, exactly. Like, those are two things. Like, like I can, I, I can And they buy, made the wrong decisions, and they have the wrong right. priorities and stuff. I mean, I agree with all of that. Like, I, I feel like... The, this attempt, like, I don't think um, Game Freak were like, oh, we can't physically do it. I'm sure they they have the, the you know, the capacity to copy files over. I think this was just like Nintendo and Game Freak probably realized that the amount of Pokemon there is is too big. And they want to, like, curb, like, Pokemon, uh, what do you call it? When Overhead. It get, or something. Creep? Creep, that, yeah. That's exactly po- what Pokemon they said. Creep. Okay, mm-hmm. so like, like they just want to in the future they want to set a precedent that not all the Pokemon are going to be in, in every game. Yeah, obviously everybody exactly hates that. that. Everybody does not like that that is a thing. Mm-hmm. But they, you know, they just go. They're, they're introducing it now, and they're probably going to do it in the next game. It's like we've got new Pokemon. We want you to care about these new Pokemon, and um, I don't know. Like I, I mean, they probably they, should they, have just done that from the start. I mean, they probably would have saved them because, like, they they really should have. I've been saying ever since like third gen that they're making too many new Pokemon every generation. I think adding hundreds of new ones every generation was inevitably going to lead to this point. I would rather they add like twenty to thirty each gen and focus on building out features because that's more interesting yeah. to me. Yeah, I, I, yeah, like, there's already because enough. every generation we just have functional replacements. We got the bird, we got the two bugs, we got the fire, well, you, water. You, I mean, and, that, that's true. Like, but you know what just, I heard? As they're to just duplicate. The main I, I absolutely agree. We have so many Pokemon. New Pokemon are fine and all, but like, y- yeah, we don't look. It's it's the we, core yeah. development decisions that are impacting a large part of this. Because another theory I heard as to like one of maybe the main reasons they didn't do this, because there are several Pokemon that have appeared in the game's code. Uh, that I, it was like the Gen 1, the Gen 7 starters, something like that. And uh, some of the sword. discussion that I heard around was that because they didn't want to make specifically Gigantamaxed models of these and, like, uh, you know, potentially all the Pokemon who aren't in the game, it was that development decision. I, I, again, this is just one of the competing g- theories. G- we g- don't know g- for sure Gigantamax yet. models are just the same model. Well, not all of I, them. Some Dynamax of them models well, yeah, are yeah, scaled sorry, up. Di- Gigantamax. Well, not, not, not every Pokemon Gigantamaxes, right? Like sure, some no. some have a That's special correct. Gigantamax and others just Dynamax, but Dynamax models are just the same. It's like it's I, like a mega form. Is, is, is that true? I don't yes. know if that's true or not. I believe yeah. right, Mage, you've done you've done the the raids and stuff. You you would know the difference, right? They I d- I mean, they're definitely, they, they get, look the they, same. They get bigger. <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, when Pikachu, big, Pikachu doesn't model, have a bigger. Gigantamax mo- model, it's just a big Pikachu. Isn't it? Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, G- uh, so Gigantamax. It well, depends. Pikachu actually does change. I've only, I've only other seen ones the are. one uh, that that special boy you get from from Let's Go Pikachu, which becomes the fat Pikachu. Um, yeah. Okay. So yeah. it's like slightly different. I mean, the tail is definitely different. All the, all the Gigantamax, Gigawax, I don't fucking know which ones which. Look, all the look, ones we, I've we, done we have just been at, the we've same seen, Pokemon. We've seen Dynamax and, and Gigantamax Gengar. And Gigantamax Gengar is like the weird one with a big mouth. Yeah. And then there's Dynamax Gengar, who's just Gengar but big, and he has like a yes. red texture overlaid on him. Yeah, as far as I understand it. Yeah. Red, mm-hmm. like, specular lighting or whatever. Right. I haven't um, seen much of this in the game. In any like, case, I, I, yeah. I feel like it's, it's most likely they're going to try and, like make it so that in the future they don't have to put all the Pokemon in all the games and people won't be uh, as upset next time because... They've been... expressly stated that's their desire for right. people yeah. to be and prepared I, for that. Y- but yeah. you know what? It feels like it feels like that decision went into, like, like lackadaisical designs for these new Pokemon, knowing that in the future some of them, they can if they're not popular, they can just, you know, easily not, you know, continue to use them. Some of these designs are very stupid looking. They are. The new ones. I'm just, you know, I guess on some level, I can sort of understand why they want to set a precedent of not every past Pokemon is in every new game. I don't think that's completely ridiculous. I'm Mm -hmm. just concerned because I I think that like Gen 1 is going to get like super overrepresented. 
And it already is. is. Yeah. yeah, it's that's going to continue. It, it's just when you consider the full context where there was much discussion about how in the last gen or whatever, they hired a company to future proof the series by making high quality models that could be reused. And now we're learning like the next generation. They've dropped. The, I mean, I just think it's not surprising that many of us would be frustrated. That, really? Uh, yep. But, yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, like like what the Tom was saying. I would rather just have a few new Pokemon every gen and, and focus on the features. We don't need fucking. We don't need Impidimp for fuck's sake. Hey, no, we actually, you know, like it grew no, on me. No, I, I won't. I, I won't fucking I, hear it. I, it's unacceptable. I, we don't need <laughs> Ice Q for okay, fuck's ice sake. Can, yeah. Ice Q can go, but yeah. Impidimp <laughs> and its evolution, I I like them. I they grow on me. No, you don't understand. Uh, you don't I understand. Do understand. <laughs> I had him. I had him from him when he was a small baby boy. I got him at a max rate, so I got him early on, and he was a small baby boy, and now he's a big, big buff boy, I and and he has your like your maternal a unique... instincts are blinding you to raw. Don't but you don't understand. I don't he, accept. He, he, I don't accept he, his validity. He, he's he's like he's like my it's two favorite types in one. I can't hate him. I can't hate the boy. <sighs> what is he? Ghost fairy? No, dark fairy. Dark fairy. Yeah, it's fine. That's all you know, fine and good. I can't, I can't prove it, but I feel like the Dragon Quest monsters uh, models have been like exactly the same since the PS2 era. Mm-hmm. Like, look, they look like they haven't changed at all through all the games. I'm not familiar with the series, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> um, but it's just because the they slime. got like really strong design sense. Like, updating mm-hmm. the models wouldn't make much of a difference anyway. But like, I don't know. I wonder. Like your art style. It's, it's a different. Like. It's a different thing because it used to be in 2D. Ah, eh, it doesn't matter. I guess Dragon Quest used to be in 2D as well. I want to. I want. I want to remind back, yeah. people of a story. When are we like... gonna get 4D Pokemon? Look at this <laughs> horse, dude. Okay, apparently there's only like seven. Po- there's eight Pokemon that have a Gigantamax form. Sounds there's about eight, right. Eight of them. Uh, here's the lit. Oh, look at that. They're all Gen One and and four. Okay, Charizard, Butterfree, Pikachu, uh, Meowth. Well, Eevee, Eevee, Butterfree? Corviknight, mm-hmm. Dreadnought, and Alcremi. Alcremi. This so, just reminds me of like the the pathetic display of the amount of Alolan Pokemon <laughs> forms there were. There's um, like thirteen like or something. Are there more yeah. Galarian forms than there were? Um, I no. feel like there's more, but not well, by maybe many. Is. Well, let me. Yeah. Well, let's see. There I'm, might be I'm, like there's, nine. there's Wheezing. Uh, there's Farfetched. Now, there's I was, Mr. Mime. I was arguing Morning. with um Kazzy and Munchie the other day yeah. that like to. To me, an Alolan form is basically a new Pokemon, and I don't. Yeah, and I'm yeah. willing. I'm willing to give them that. Mm-hmm. Um, oh no, I mean pathetic in the like the amount that they didn't change from Gen One. Like, there's so many Gen One Pokemon in Sun and Moon, oh. and the um, the Alolan Pokemon were like they were cool, and they there was only like been ten of them. Forms, I yeah. yeah. Uh, like a lot of them are bad. Like Alolan Meowth and. Is pretty shit. I, I like, love just, Alolan Pyrrhusian. Pyrrhusian with his white it's, face. Eh, it's better. But like, Dude, Alolan, Alolan Meowth, Meowth is literally just Meowth a... with fucking a different expression. I there's a like fucking Alolan Galarian Meowth. Meowth too. Oh, yeah. So yeah. 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 There's so that many one's Meowth. a little dwarf. Galarian Meowth is better because it's more different. It's yeah, I like it. Steel. Like fucking, fucking uh, Snowy Vulpix is like beautiful. Like there's yeah yeah I wanted I I just wanted more Alolan forms I didn't want to see Magikarp again I didn't want to see Goldeen again. (laughs) Goldeen is back, baby. I hate her Uh, so much. (laughs) Why is Goldeen back? We don't need Goldeen. Replace it with something else. What would be really funny is like a new form when you watch the show and every time Misty would throw out Goldeen would just flap around on the ground. She'd get pissed off. And Galarian? You're just like, yeah, Goldine is shit. Okay, what yeah. if they made like yeah. Galarian, uh, Goldine, and Seeking that were like fucking awesome? What if I they mean, were like, I would fight- love it. what if they I were like great. fighting Steel type and they were just like super badass? <laughs> I would love we'll it because it would be it would be new and it would be fresh and it would be something. It would be yeah. s- fucking yeah. anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's kind of what they did with Farfetched and maybe Meow. Yeah, I guess, that's a right. Because like every generation. Like we said, they have the three birds. That's oh. basically Pidgey, but again, but like different. Yep. And like yep. it's it's fine that it's different. Sometimes the 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 bird Pokemon of of the day is like lame, but sometimes it's really cool. I like Talonflame the Galarian. Was pretty cool. Yeah, I, Talonflame was cool. I, I like, like the Galarian far, like... Farfetch'd because he's like looking down at you like you're scum, and it was funny. I love Galarian Farfetch'd. Uh, man, Bulbapedia doesn't have images up of all the different Galarian forms yet. It's kind of disappointing. Uh, still getting to you it, know I what? Guess. 
you know what? Call me when Pokemon is like at a point where Goldeen isn't there, and then I'll buy it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> of all Solid. the Pokemon to keep. I, you know, it's, I mean, they don't keep miscellaneous forgotten fish. Actually, they do keep some of them from other, like Basculin. He's in there. What does he evolve into? Nothing. I don't no. know. Yeah. Something I don't else. think Basculin evolves. It doesn't. It just has like two Then why the versions. fuck is he in this game? What, what do you mean? No what do you watch that Pokemon? What do you here? mean? Why is he in the game just because he doesn't evolve? A lot of because, Pokemon. I mean, okay, Dunsparce is doesn't Is anyone going to use Dunsparce. Basculin? Does anyone want what Basculin? Lo- What's Basculin? Okay, but whether or not he it's evolves is not the problem. Not. Well, okay, okay, the evolution, true. Like, Skarmory's good. Skarmory doesn't evolve. But, I mean, that's just one piece of the puzzle uh, here. It's that it's yeah, a worthless ba- Pokemon. Basculin is... Uh, I mean, is Basculin's not the most exciting Pokemon. No, it's true. Uh, <laughs> I'd you know, say you he's the have... least exciting Pokemon. Yeah, I, well, I've I never mean, seen him. He looks better, pretty funny. He's better than Goldeen. Uh, I get maybe. excited about how unexcited I am when I see Basculin. Um, I don't know. Ba- at least Basculin's got something going on with the red it's and blue. It's green. <laughs> It's got the red and blue forms, sort of, that don't <laughs> have any meaningful oh. difference between them whatsoever. How uh, exciting! For okay, us. I don't want to. I don't want to go to bat too hard for Basculin, <laughs> uh, yeah, even so though we had that's the legendary I, 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 banana, oh, bananas. If Galarian the Basculin looks like this image you just linked, Gib here, that's in the show notes, I would be fully on board. Or maybe it evolved into this <laughs> like Galarian Basculin, Basculin form evolution. Fighting, no, fighting we need, water. Fighting we need fish. Le- we need type. less, less anthro, less anthro Pokemon, please. I want um, all anthro. End, end them. I want end everyone them. to be Machoke. Uh, that'd be Yuck. good. Okay, guys. I want, I've been wanting to say, like, uh, this whole mm-hmm. controversy with Pokemon. Like, I'm not. Uh, people aren't wrong. Um, but uh, what it reminds me of um, mm-hmm. is a little game called Fable. And how it absolutely mm. messed up initially. At least from what I heard. Like, it made so many promises that it couldn't keep. And people yeah. were really yeah. angry about it, but me, when I was when I was little, I didn't know anything about the controversies, and I played Fable for the first time, and I loved it. It was such a good game, and it still is, and I I have it on I'll, my I'll, PC. Well, I'll tell you why. I'll, I can tell you why that happened. It's because Stef, that's a Stefan Molyneux, uh, P- Peter Peter Molyneux, <laughs> he endorsed Peter Molyneux Pokemon, yeah. and it yeah. was all downhill from there. Yeah, um, <laughs> no, Peter Peter Molyneux, right? The the. Okay, Peter Peter Molyneux, the guy oh, yeah, who made right, right. he made all these fucking games, and Peter Molyneux mm-hmm. is just like a chronic overpromiser, mm-hmm. and he just mm-hmm. hyped up the game and said like how realistic it was going to be, how many features it was going to have, right. what an immersive the famous you can be. plant a seed and come back like oh, yeah. years later and it'll grow yeah. into an actual liar. tree, Ama- just, like amazing. crazy amazing. shit like that. Shocking. Um, so it was. It was. It was that. It, it wasn't that the game was <coughs> bad. It was that it was overhyped and overpromised, and the developer made all these promises it didn't keep. It's basically the same. Th- it's the same thing that happened with No Man's Sky. Same yeah. thing that happened with yeah. Spore. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, it's not Spore. that the game. It's, it's not that the game was like necessarily horrible. It's that it was supposed to be something yeah, different. The developer, the developer set the bar too high. Like you have to control lied. your PR. Or you're yeah. fucked. Like it does. You can make a nine out of ten, but if you promise an eleven out of ten, it's going to be a two out of ten in everyone's books. Because like, fuck you, you lied to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah it's like course. I bought this game because I thought I could do X, Y, and I can only right. do. Because like you're <laughs> only going to focus on what isn't there at that point. Because it's like, oh, you hyped up and told me I could do this, and mm-hmm. now I can't do this. So fuck yeah. you. Like you're yeah, just you're I mean, just adding extra baggage to your game that doesn't need to be there. That was just, that was the keep fable. shit on the DL until you know it's gonna and, be there. And, and Peter Molyneux apparently he just like <laughs> he'll do this with every game that he makes. He'll he'll promise the moon, and then he'll the game will come out, and everyone will be like, "Where's the fucking moon, <laughs> asshole?" And he'll be right. like, and then he'll go silent for a while, and he'll come up, be idiot. like, "Hey guys, Fable Two, I'm so, that was uh, embarrassing dog shit. It was going to, but Fable Three, like this is where we're gonna <laughs> really realize everything that I said I was gonna do, and ten times more. Ugh. But um, you know th- that all being the case, that's all Even true. though, like, and while I, it's being developed, be like, guys, we fucking nailed it. Like, we're fucking nailing it. It's everything I said. I don't, it's, I don't it's know why he's... Everything like, I said and more. And then as soon as it comes out, ah, oh, it's just, nah, it fucked up. A nah, responsible game count. developer who has, like, any amount of information on, like, how games are made and, like, what contemporary games can do, like, should never have promised the things that Peter Molyneux promised in Fable. It's ridiculous right. to think that your game would have those features. Mm. But uh, uh, considering this game... It's just the fact that I kn- I know how Pokemon is developed lately, i.e. disappointingly and with tons of flaws, and just the whole world is talking about all these bad things about the game that are all bad, but 
slightly less than everybody, I don't know, seemed to be expressing. I just feel like there was so much criticism that now that I'm playing it, and I kind of feel like the promise that was given to me by Game Freak was a new Pokemon game. It has, you know, Dynamax. That's it. Oh, That's no, what we promised. They definitely that didn't, they definitely did not over prom- They definitely did not overpromise with Sword and Shield. It, and, and that's why I think I feel relatively my, satisfied. My disappointment so far. is just from yeah. the lack of evolution the series has so, shown perfectly fair, over perfectly. a yeah. million billion years. Yeah, Do you think that, that um, sure. uh, like uh, a natural a, mm. a backlash against the backlash is allowing you to enjoy Pokemon, whereas <laughs> otherwise you would be like, "Yeah, this is yeah." But I mean, like, you're, isn't you're that enjoying exactly it exactly spite- as. I think Doesn't that make like, just as much in- sense as someone being mad at Fable for being overpromised? Like, is no. one valid and the other isn't valid? I think they're I'm not both talking valid. About, I'm not talking about valid. I'm just wondering, like, do you think um, the backlash, like, the overwhelming backlash against Pokemon is making your mood playing the game better than it would otherwise be? At the start, slightly yes, because I was expecting it to be so bad, uh, really? and it uh, really? wasn't that. I've never, bad. I've never I assumed know. that Pokemon is going to that, that Sword and Shield is going to be a bad game. I just assumed it's going to be technically unimpressive and not have my favorite Pokemon, which is all the, the ima- outrage uh, really has ever and been not, about, and not do anything too new or interesting. Because I mean, the, the the playthrough so far is straight up better than Sun and Moon. So like, and I didn't expect that, and so I'm just I'm you know happy that that is the case. It's it has many of the same flaws of sun and moon but it's slightly less annoying moment by moment and there's like more gyms which i'm happy to have back there's eight instead of you know whatever the weird thing they were doing in alola and uh and uh, yeah i don't know I, I mean the everything about the pokemon not being in the game that haunts me i hate that but that's end game that's after you beat the elite four and i haven't done that yet so it hasn't impacted the experience yet so just my moment to moment playing is uh you know was, i like i like good. the characters and i like the story so far they're uh, all just terrible. Can you? I mean, <laughs> they're not bad. They're it's just not, wait. Not, is there, there's not, nothing is to there, it. Um, is there a, yeah. an, a, is there like a team skull, like or, or like an Te- edgy uh, gladion or whatever his name uh, was? Team Yell and Beady. <laughs> can you um? Can Kinda, you ri- yeah. can you ride on your Pokemon? Nope. No, sadly. Okay. Zero well, out of ten. Out. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> there's no following Pokemon. There's they, no like oh, HM connection. They literally Pokemon. put that in in fucking Go, P- Go. Let's go Pikachu or whatever the. F- what what game am I talking about? The one that had the, the let's, go, yeah, let's go Pikachu. Yeah, you, let's, okay, oh, I was right. Yeah, they literally had the ability to ride your Pokemon and let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee and they and they <laughs> why why would they make a good feature and then they just throw it away? Well, I mean, they did Pokemon the same thing with Heart and you. they Pokemon it back has out, always so they been don't give about. A shit, I guess. Like adding great features that improve the experience, and then forgetting about them because they were the gimmick of that one generation. Yeah. Yep. I, I mean, th- th- that's the only thing like they the... keep is Pikachu, and that's it. Well, I cannot <sighs> believe that Mega Forms have just been dropped. It is beyond belief. Personally, that they put so I'm much happy. Work I that. never they, they... liked Mega Forms. So. Oh, well, they're they're neither not... did I. But they made not... it a main thing. They're, I was forced not... to accept them under protest, not just and now dropped, they just remove right? them. Like... What Wait, the fuck? Are, are, are they just completely dropped? Like you cannot do them? At That's any correct. Point? Yeah. Are you sh- yeah. are you sure? Because you couldn't do them in Alola until end game. So like, is it an end? Is it a thing? Maybe you can access once you get to the end no, game. No, I'm pretty I'm, sure. I'm 99 like, percent sure. There's nothing they're in completely the game. Gone. Yeah, there's nothing in the game indicating that you c- would be able to. Like, there's now, no items no, that you can. Now play. it's all about the like six Pokemon that you can Gigantamax. Look, you That's can the, Dynamax anyone. There's a, anyway, there's a so, new okay, Mega. Cool. There's a new form of Mega f- forms, and it's just worse. And there's Less of it, and but no, you can Dynamax like forms literally any Pokemon. Only some of them it. have fancy. Forms. And this is talking as somebody who uh, there's yeah, like eight, now Godzilla, Mecha Godzilla, and Mothra essentially in Pokemon. <laughs> and even I'm like, maybe this was not the best use of your resources. It's, it's literally right. eight Pokemon have a special okay, look, Gigantamax these, these form. These are the things. These and are, they are the things all, that make me six of the, a traumatized. Five of them, five Pokemon of them are Gen One. Five of them are Gen One. Three of them are Gen what nine? Are we on nine now? We you shouldn't even consider the Dynamax Eight? thing. Like like okay, Mega Evolutions functioned as like a new evolutionary form. These are basically not like no. that at all. It's just no. that they can get big. I don't think and you understand what a Mega form is because a Gigantamax is way more similar to a Mega than to a regular evolution. Well, I, I mean, my Mega point forms was were that, nothing like, like a regular evolution. They were just like a thing you could activate in battle. Yeah. I'm aware of how they function in battle, but they give They're you like, like a new form to the Pokemon, and, and they revert back like when you're new done. types and stuff. Shout out if to if every Pokemon had Anybody a like specific changed form, Digimon. <laughs> Digimon. Uh, it, yeah. 
if every what? Pokemon had like a specifically changing form when they Dynamax or whatever, like then it'd be like kind of like a new form. But because only like eight of them, I mean, what's Butterfree's Dynamax form? It just gets really big wings and its body stays small. It's that's Mothra. not. That's not Mothra, bro. That's no, what are you talking about? Like literally, what are you talking about? I, I'm. Sh- I'm just trying to compare the, the distinction between why I found megaforms to be like like Mawile. Mawile didn't have an evolution, but it got a megaform that basically functioned like sort of like it was okay, an okay. evolution in how it looks and how it fights and that stuff. Okay, okay, I'm listen, aware listen, it doesn't listen. mechanically okay, function listen, that listen, way. Listen, listen, how, listen. How is how is Gigantamaxing different? Exactly. Like, let me explain. Okay, so like because mega- no one has a new form. Yeah. So, like, what okay. do you mean they have a new form? Let me. Whoa. Talk. Go on then. Megaforms. So, like, they change the typing of the Pokemon most most often. And I don't remember if there's any that don't change the typing. Uh, sometimes they get new abilities as well, and you know they get like, like a new a new mm-hmm. uh, look to them. Like, and so it's almost like a new evolution for them in 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 a way. Uh, it's a temporary one, uh, but yeah. Uh, whereas uh, Dynamax thing, they just get big. And yeah, stronger, yeah. Um, okay, but, but like with uh, with the exception of those eight, but even those eight that do look different, they still have the same abilities and typing and stuff. They're just big. So, is there what's the what's the difference between Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing? Uh, Dynamaxing is like everyone gets big. Like literally, any yes. Pokemon can get big. That's all. Yes, uh, I understand. Uh, Gigantamaxing. They look slightly different when they get big, but it's, but it's um it's like just visual. Uh, it's just visual. It's only a visual difference. As far as I know, I could be wrong, but yeah. as far as I've observed, it's just a visual thing. This is the Hence, this is the difference. fucking worst. This is the fucking worst. <laughs> I mean, thing. we can all agree it's shit. It's it's dumb and uh, wh- whatever, whatever. It's but I just I'm such an abused fan. I hated Megas. I thought they were dumb. I didn't want them. But you know what? Eventually, I was like, hey man, we've moved on. Everybody, we, we're doing so Megas now. It's time my, to accept it. My and argument for Megas is that they add, they do add some like strategy to like like they do increase the fucking possibility space of like choices you have to make in battle. And, and I think they're defensible in that way. So sure. Gigantamaxing, <laughs> it's like that. It's, it's like Megas, like that, but yeah. they don't do that. Well, Imagine there, there Gigantamaxing in Pokemon Showdown. It just they, they fills do... the screen. You can't see them anymore. <laughs> it does make a difference. It's basically just you just power up one Pokemon for three turns. That's yeah. That's the okay. You know, that's I, it. Yeah. Sh- so okay, you can I get, which I get, I get to that. Do it on. I get that. Um, like, yeah, like Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing um, um, is uh, you. You you got to choose when to do it. So it's it's like a mix a between similar. a Z move. It's like a mix between a Z move and a Mega Form. Basically, yes, that's true. That's, basically. that's, that's true. Uh, my, my do they have favorite... to have an item? Do they need to be holding an item to do that? Nope. Gi- nope. I mean, required. You, okay. technically, but you get it in the game, like in a cutscene, so like you don't, you don't even know you have it, basically. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's it's not something the Pokemon has to be holding in place of like a leftovers or a no, Eviolite no, no, or, no, no. Okay. no. Okay. What were you saying, Gib? You were saying something. Uh, no, it's just like reminiscing on on my favorite Maybe. gimmick. My favorite gimmick of of, of mm. the fucking Pokemon contests, which which allowed. Um, like Pokemon that are not fit for battle oh, uh, yeah, to Pokemon still have contests. a role in in fucking the game, and yeah. you could mm-hmm. like you could get a tiny cute thing, and if it knows some cute moves, you can win the cute contest, and you can <laughs> yeah. give it a ribbon. Oh, I miss those. That's true. Oh, they yeah. existed. I miss never them. liked them. Thought they were bullshit. Wait, <laughs> I'm glad they're dead. <laughs> I have an idea, and, and I don't I like know. Them. I don't know if this is like a good or a bad thing. But what if literally the point of Dynamaxing? I don't even want to say Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing because they're literally it's the, the same, same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just what, if, what if the what if the point of Dynamaxing is that it is pointless and a mm-hmm. a like like non feature basically or like like a what completely if we made a bad game what on if, purpose? No, guys. listen. What if, what if the point is that it is like a stupid throwaway thing that did not require a lot of thought or effort 
to incorporate into the game, specifically because they intend for it to be a throwaway feature that is like specific to this generation and will never be used again. And they're like, wait, we we worked so hard. We made all these, like we put a lot of energy and time and resources Mm -hmm. into building these new features for these old games. And then we just, even though they were good, we just threw them away. So we know we're going to just throw away whatever new features we make for the next game. So why don't we just make it some bullshit? I mean, I wouldn't blame them for thinking that way. That's, it's that's, what's well, happening. I would I, almost not blame them, except that obvi- they, it's like they're so close, so close to the revelation that maybe they shouldn't fucking make a good, oh, make yeah. good features and yeah. throw them away. But they come to the opposite <laughs> conclusions. Like, well, let's just make our features worse so that it's not bad when we I, throw them away. I'm pretty <laughs> sure they just got inspired by Pokemon Go and its success. Yeah, so what? What's that to do with the, the fuck are the you fucking high? What are you oh, talking oh, about? Like, 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 like the, the raids, the, yeah. the Pokemon oh. are just real big. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> that that happen. could fucking be it. That could actually be the reason. Like people who play Pokemon Go, they're used to seeing big Pokemon. That's we dumb. should put that in the new game. That's silly. I see. <laughs> and then I you, see. and you got co op with friends, and you get battle the giant Pokemon. I don't have any fucking friends, Mage. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Your friend, the only one for me. Ugh, I'm not getting the fucking game. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's I won't fine. Do it. You don't have to. I I, I, do I literally it. don't mind people not getting the game. You, maybe you I might. You know what? Time. Maybe it's maybe at some point I will get the game. I'm not taking an ideological stance on like do not buy this mm-hmm. game. Mm-hmm. I don't care that much. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I I don't feel like spending the sixty dollars right. Will now, now be the time where people go as such as myself and seek out those mythical fan games that I've heard so much about that they say <laughs> I think are it's better. Time. I mean, yeah. I mean to. I just have been too lazy. Yeah, it's yeah good, I don't know. Some some good, just use, some good just, stuff out there. Just use the fan game known as your imagination. <laughs> Dude, right back. I'm I sick to, if something have, was good. I have, to, I have to go take an angry piss. <laughs> okay. Okay. I have one small gripe with the game. Just a very sure. tiny one. Uh, among, among all the things that people are saying, like, um, I've beaten five gyms so far, and like. The choices for clothes you can buy is abysmal so far. With at least like Sun and Moon, you had like like very themed sort of uh, shops throughout the town. Like oh, there's like the cute shop, and then there's like the sporty shop, and then there's like the the hipster shop or something like that for clothes. With this one is like, do you want this sporty look or that sporty look? And I'm like, where are my cute frilly dresses? God damn it! This I, is an athletic game for athletes such as myself. Off. I want to dress. <laughs> you, you know, Mage, on this subject, though, I think that just touches on kind of one larger point. This is this is something people have said in general about it, wait, and wait, I, wait, I wonder wait, if you wait, would wait, agree. Wait, 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 the looks are sporty? I thought this was, like, in Scotland. I thought you were going to be wearing, like, winter coats and stuff and mittens. <laughs> wait. Uh, you, Not really. You, no, like so Damn. far, all all the gloves that are available uh, look very sporty biker, like like not biker, but like biking. That's so lame. Gloves. I know. So well, far, I've only beaten fine gym, so I don't know. Maybe I'll be pro- proven wrong after the next gym, and I'll get my frilly dress, and I'll be happy. But so far, like I had to, I had to beat so much of the game, and I still don't have my cute dress. I am very disappointed. Well, okay. So the, can, the issue I can feel the boys this wear with. kilts? I, that's that's I don't the most know. important thing. I mean, that's in there. I don't know. Uh, so the, the this issue of, like, not a lot of clothes, fair. Okay, perhaps this touches just into the larger issue that kind of touches all these issues. That's like, like okay, on the, on, this is on the Switch, right? This is like a console mm-hmm. game. I know Game Freak's a small company, whatever. But, like, when you just small compare, company. when you compare, I mean, I don't, I don't know how many fucking development staffers they have. Those, those things matter, but whatever. Like, when you just compare the other games that are, like, on the system, I mean, it's not hard to just be like, wow, this game is, like, you know, developed by babies compared to some of the other games mm. that are on there. And then it, it's just, it's reasonable to be like, this is, like, the most profitable franchise in the fucking world ever okay, of all okay, time. Okay, okay, that, that's not fair because... Why? Why is that not fair? Uh, because uh, Game because Freak doesn't... Because of a small development team? Game Freak doesn't get... Get a bigger team! Hire Ga- more people! A Game Why Freak doesn't hard? get that much money as people assume it does. That's what no. the issue is. I, okay, on, but, 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 but Mage, you. Mage, that even, even if that's true, the Pokemon company does. So why is a Pokemon company not like, hey, Game Nintendo Freak, does. here's yeah. some money... I don't Get know why they don't going. do it. I don't then know. That's, okay, then I don't that's know bad. which of these companies is to blame, but some combination of these companies should have said to themselves, hmm, we have probably too few staff members some, working on I the agree. game. Somebody I agree. I just don't I don't like people saying like, oh, they have millions and billions of dollars. Why don't they? They make do a though, games? Mage. They, they do. do. They well, literally not game do. Freak. 
Well, okay, Game Freak well, some, is a co-owner of the Pokemon someone company. In charge, someone at some point in the chain failed mm-hmm. to allot the necessary resources to fucking make I mean, the shit happen. I mean, we can all agree on that. They, they fucking know they don't need to, though. People right. still buy the yeah. game, yeah, and they sing its praises, and they defend it, and that's just how it will always be. Not me. Uh, well... I do. Yeah. I do wish yeah. they would improve. Though honestly. I mean, it's really funny to compare this to like, uh, like what, uh, what is it, like Xenoblade Chronicles or some of those games that just. I mean, like they look a million times right, better. Or Dragon Quest and the render distance is more than like twenty feet, <laughs> and you know, uh, think things of this nature. I still Didn't say even Town looks better than than Pokemon. I'd believe that. Aren't believe uh, that. aren't they coming out with like a another Pokemon mobile app that they're gonna make millions of pun billions of dollars? They already from? did, didn't they? The, uh, I mean, what, uh, is what is it out? called? It's like Pokemon, Pokemon Masters? Masters, I think. Yeah, Masters. Which is, yeah, by the way, the, not a good the, game. The... Don't play it. It sucks. I, I've tried. Okay. I played it. Well, I got my Ham Doom. I stopped playing. There you go. <laughs> Eight but Pokemon, Pokemon. Go. Eight Pokemon Billions. can Gigantamax. <laughs> <sighs> well, not Gengar is not one of them. At least they cut half. That it so it's is not it? less Wait than one percent. Gengar of is. Not according to Bulbapedia. Well, then it's but wrong. We've seen it's, didn't we see it? You literally saw it the giant Gengar that's stuck in the ground with its a mouth open. I, I mean, is do you think is Bulbapedia just not up to date? Probably. It's possible some information is. Let me. All right. Well, let me. Let me. Let me check. I mean, and and I'm not sure if it was in Bulbapedia, but in one of those Pokemon uh, sites, it said like you can only get Galarian Ponita in Pokemon Sword, which is not true. You can get it only in Shield. So you know. Yeah. See, I, I feel like there's been some things like that that are maybe just straight up like incomplete or inaccurate that will Wait be updated and we'll have a rosier picture to a degree. None of the things I'm complaining about, but, you know. Some oh, things. no, okay. Bulb- I'm sorry, Bulbapedia is wrong. Oh, okay, the, li- okay. the list is still not that impressive, but I'm counting 1, 2, 3, 4, mm-hmm. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 20, 26. 26 Pokemon have Gigantamax for. Okay, so that's, that's something. Be- better. And let me count how many of those are not new Pokemon or first gen. Um, <laughs> okay. Zero. <laughs> li- yes, it's literally none. Yes, literally every single one is either a gen one Pokemon or a... Um, Really? Wait, 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 wait. New... But the, the cake Pokemon is new, and I know that's a new Th- one. That's what I said. Either Gen 1 or a new Pokemon. Here's the oh, here's the, oh, here's the oh, list. Right. Gengar, Charizard, Meowth, Eevee, Pikachu, Butterfree, Corviknight, Alcremie, Dreadnought, Garb... Oh, wait, no, Garbodor. Gar- uh, Gar- oh, Gar- Garbodor. Garbodor is the one exception. Because uh, he's the da- trash man. Yeah, he's da- the da- trash da- man. Darulodon, Darulodon Hatterene, Copperaja, Kingler, Centiscorch. Oh, it Mel- oh, and Melmetal. Of course, everyone's favorite fucking Melmetal. What the fuck is uh, Melmetal? Oh, he's right, the, that thing that Pokemon legendary Go. from... Yeah, yeah, so, okay, so two are not of the... Uh, uh, Appleton, it, Appleton, Grimmsnarl, Flapple, Sanaconda... Uh, Col- Colossal, Orbeetle, Toxi- Toxitricity, terrible name by the way, Snorlax, Lapras, Toxic. Machamp. What so the there fuck you go. is with Meowth? Who likes Meowth? That is, fucking game Meowth free. turns into Long Cat, bro. Long Cat. It does. Yeah. Yeah, they've I, I got other cats. Bro! They've got other better cats. Long! Skitty is objectively better than Meowth. I want, me. I'm so disappointed they don't have Skitty. Nick. More like shitty. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. you. Oh, that's yeah. life, baby. <laughs> Read them and weep. So, all right, that's 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 the spread. This has been an this, hour this, of Pokemon this num- discussion. This number, this number actually yeah. makes it e- makes the uh, the Gen One bias like even worse and even more egregious. Well, do, do, Gen ben, do you not think go. going forward it's going to be? Gen One Plus, whatever we made for this game, and that's going to be the focus. Like that yes, seems like the definitely, surefire definitely. way to make the bucks. Yes, and then every and then each one of those features that only include will just so don't get only attached in- to any new Pokemon in Sword and Shield because they will be gone next. Yeah, game. Ne- the next yeah. next yeah. generation, all the special features, none of them will get none of them will get anything. But Why? luckily, it's yeah. shit, and I won't miss Gigantamaxing. <laughs> so I feel blessed. Yeah, luck- luckily we made the features bad on purpose, so you won't <laughs> miss them when they're wouldn't gone. It, wouldn't it You're be interesting welcome, if they Avery. made a game that actually had like? a huge amount of scope for a console like the Switch and like you could go to all the regions and each region had its gimmick but it only worked in that region that would be cool I mean that, that could happen neat. you know it, it, yeah, it, yeah, could it be won't done. fucking happen it no, won't happen not. but someone could make that potentially you oh know. 100% it could it's be done Pixelmon Minecraft 
Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, so you're gonna the, add uh, Patreon gigantic slash Minecraft to, 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 to fucking Pixelmon? Not not yet, but I'm sure. We already ki- you already kind of have that with Pokemon's having various sizes. I suppose. Yeah. That's oh yeah, good. you know we we can Gigantamax our uh, our you know our big boys, our Buffalons, <laughs> and we we can also min max them by making them so very small you can't even see them down there. So really minimize, minimize. We've got the we've got the we've got you coming and going on the PCB Minecraft server. So what happens if a Gigantamaxed muck uses minimize? Does he just turn back to regular? Well, <laughs> that's a fascinating <laughs> question. <laughs> it's a small but red. <laughs> I want to see that happen. I don't know. <laughs> Like, I, cause, well, I mean, just when you're Dynamaxed or whatever, like, your moves change. So I wonder if you don't have access to minimize when that happens. Damn. To, like, they the thought of it else. ahead of time. <laughs> they may have. They may well have. Man, it's probably, imagine like, some, like, if fucking yeah. mucks in real life could minimize. Then mm. we wouldn't have so much pollution. Damn. Ooh, that's how we get rid of pollution. We just, you know, um, we sentientize. TM we minimize. Sent, we sentientize the, 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 the landfills. It turns into little Pokemon. And we have to just themselves. bombard landfills with radiation in hopes that they evolve into <laughs> muck and don't do more damage to the environment. We need, we need a Galarian Weezing. Because yeah, because we do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's true. That's what we really need. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's uh, it eats uh, the which is basically carbon tax the Pokemon. That's I, feel, I, I feel. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like. Uh, like this gen has has a, something to say about about like global warming because of like uh, that stupid mm-hmm. penguin and then like the dead Corsola <laughs> and uh, the wheezing. Wait, h- hang like, on. You know, I heard that was a little bit of fake news about that Corsola. Wasn't that like a... Isn't bleached coral just like a natural thing? Or, or was I wrong? Is that, it's ghost is that type. A, I, yeah. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. So what? <laughs> I, what's, this, what's the relevance? The implications it's, it's dead. fucking dead. Yeah. Uh, it is a real variant that's a ghost. Well, maybe. Yeah. Okay, maybe. I, I kind of need a little more than that. If, I, if the point is just the, the coral's dying... Okay, cool. Got it. But... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, like I don't. I, okay. I, I could be wrong. Um, I don't mind being wrong. I, I'm just if, pointing. If I out. may, I, I would like. Mm-hmm. If I may, I would like to change the subject permanently. Please. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do it. And uh, and uh, to Eliazar, please, at the be- as soon as we start talking about Pokemon, put on screen. Uh, click the click this time step to skip from the Pokemon discussion to the politics discussion. Oh, oh no! Yeah. Because, oh, yes, yeah. Because yes. Because yes. Because I, I, I changed my mind. Let's go back to Pokemon. Yeah. I want to follow up Hippo. on on the thing I was I was looking into, yeah, uh, or talking about like a labor and, and, and general election in the UK. Please. Okay. Uh, the BBC website has this little thing. The the manifestos aren't out yet. Which is annoying. They sh- I really want to read up and see what the fuck they're actually talking about. But the things mm. they've all been saying on their campaigns have been like tallied up and and put into like little a little drop down menu. So you click on what party and it will tell you like based on health and e- economy and education like what their policies have been like spoken. Okay. And I was looking around and you know, uh, Labour seems to be the one for me. Um, conservatives are, you know, I. Policy I'm not really going to talk about, but the one thing I wanted to mention is that I checked out the Brexit party, mm-hmm. and obviously they are, like, generally not for me, but there was one thing that really annoyed me. Yeah. It's that Bre- the Brexit party want to abolish the first-past-the-post voting system and implement majority or, you know, the the, the better alternative, the one that everyone wants that would make de- democracy oh. a lot more fairer. Okay, I see. So, like... Yeah. So like, and Labour and Conservatives, the most likely parties to win, mm-hmm. don't promise that at all. So it just sort of reinforces the idea that the better voting system is not encouraged by the parties who win all the time because they know that if they allow yeah, that to happen, they would course. stop being in power and it would stop being a two-party system. That's yeah, and I hate the idea fair, that if course. I want that fucking thing, I need to vote Brexit Party. I, I'm not mm-hmm. going to do that. Mm-hmm. It sucks. Ah. I, I mean, vote on parties. You know who wants? You know issues. who wants voting reform? Bernie Sanders, but also Yang, and I think a couple of the other Democrats. In I mean, um, okay, like in America, we vote for our congressman, obviously, like separately from the executive branch and stuff. Whereas, okay, actually, to be fair, I don't actually know how it works. Who are you? You you in England? You vote for the party you want, right? And then they get X number of representatives in well, the parliament. Is that it, the, correct? There's there's the the country is split up into uh-huh. constituencies. And you have members of parliament, people who stand to become members of parliament, mm-hmm. um, 
and you vote for them in your local area, they get elected, and then mm. they represent the the party they're part of. Okay, in, so that's pretty much like it works. It's the same. same here as the okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I'm yeah. sorry. I just missed. So, are you voting for a person, or are you voting yes. for a party? Person. You're voting for a person. Okay. Um, and who rep- who is part of a party? Yes. Okay. Got it. Got it. I, want to I, I assume it's the same in the U- the U.S., but with senators, correct, or something. something like that. We have yeah, the, the Senate and uh, the House of Representatives. Someone, okay, this guy. Um, I was talking about uh, Lula, the the Brazilian uh, former president who uh, got mm-hmm. uh, who was put in jail on like. A lot of people say they were trumped up charges of corruption. Uh, we got him again. That we're taking down the Brazilians. These were trumped up charges. He, he, this is he, how he, I began got, my they, legacy. Like the Supreme Court voted that that was <laughs> that he shouldn't. Ha- he doesn't have to be in jail anymore. Um, so he's okay. out, mm. and uh, Bernie's happy about it. And this uh, this guy Tom Tom. Thanks Tom Tom for this heads up. <laughs> Let me fucking read. He said he 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 messaged me on Discord it's like to Tom, do, but there's two of them. He's extremely to, t- to tell me about like dude, uh, hell yeah. Lula, uh, mm-hmm. and he said, I think this is impossible for me to translate. This is just too funny. I had to read it. I think okay. it's impossible for me to translate this to you. But Lula is not only cool because of what he represents. He is absolute peak commie swagger. He got a new girlfriend while in jail. And on one of his first videos out of jail, he said, quote, I am. And this is a translation. I am a 74 year old man with the energy of a 30 year old and the hard on of a 20 year old. I want to <laughs> fight. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, pretty cool if true. I mean, you know, uh, d- death to commies, but that's pretty funny. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> really, that's funny. It's a funny joke. Um, okay, yeah. so that's all I have to say about politics. Other than that, it depresses. Congratulations, me. Lulu! I loved your appearance in Final Fantasy X. It was a great. Uh, it was a great time. Mm. Yeah. So who politics. you voting for, Hippo? You voting? You voting Labor? Um, well, my constituency is just uh, based on the name of the party. I feel like Labor is probably the one for me. And but, that's really uh, all we I mean, need to know at the end of the day. That's yeah, not what know. I. That's the opposite of what I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> I mean, on. yeah, Labor is Jeremy Corbyn is seems like in many ways a Bernie Sanders sort of guy, which is why everyone hates him. Because, yeah, uh, that's my impression. You know, they don't want him. They don't want him to give money to people who need it. No. <laughs> so, like, what so the pr- fuck. Yeah, so uh, I'm I'm probably voting for him. Hopefully, like the 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 moment my constituency is conservative, but it's only by a small number of people. So hopefully that can be switched. We can fucking. But, uh, we can I fucking really don't. I, I really. World. I really ah. have doubts for like Labour having a large enough majority to make a serious like difference that they can actually implement the policies that they want to. Yeah. Like, it, it, no matter what happens, everyone is still, like, split in the country. Nobody's really talking and, and, and you know, caring I, about each other I and was, each other's problems. I went to, I went to Tasty Burger uh, with Kazzy and Munchie on Friday or, I don't know, whenever. I went, I went the other day. And uh, I went and I got the, I was drinking my, I was drinking my bullshit piss water light beers, low carb, haha. I was, I drank, I was drinking at the bar and there was this guy, this guy next to me was talking to the bartender and I realized they were talking about politics and this guy next to me, he was like, he was like a, he was a good boy, Bernie bro. And I, and I, my heart bled for him. He was talking to the bartender and the bartender was just like, the bartender was arguing for why we for why we should keep Trump in office. And his argument was like, oh, politicians all lie. The, 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 the government is corrupt. Uh, and Trump is the worst of them all. He's the biggest liar and the most corrupt of them all. But like, that's good because it'll expose the bad things. That was his art, and he like I mean, he he steadfastly stood by it. He would you, not be dissuaded from this fucking. If you believe that your government s- is totally evil, then I suppose putting an incompetent at the head of it as That's a way what, of dismantling it is not the craziest idea, as opposed to someone who's it, good right. at perpetuating it, that. You're, you're correct. That, you're that, correct, that, Nate. Accelerationists are psychotic freaks and shouldn't be allowed to vote. Was you're his right. argument supposed to be that because Trump is outside of like the system, that his the reason for his corruption is for exposing the bullshit, or, or just that he's operating for his own gain and not the the system's gain. So therefore, like his no. motives are different. 
was like, no, I, I think he just that. wanted to no, think I, of a way to say Trump is all right. I actually. think he didn't. I mean, may, maybe if I'd gotten more of a uh, more of his take, he might have elaborated. But all I heard him say was that like Trump is. It seemed to be the idea that Trump is the most corrupt and the worst, and therefore like having him in power will. Uh, mobilize people against the government. I think, or or will like expose, or will will like. I it was ba- my impression was that it was basically uh, let's make thing, let's just make things as worse as they can be. Things if like they'll make things really bad, like things are bad now, but make them really bad, and then people will have to get angry and do something about it. Okay. Or yeah, something. it's like it's it's like I kind of see where he's coming from, but it's just it doesn't make sense yeah. because. There's when Obama was in office, all of the uh, you know the other side were well, like trying to get rid of him the cult the whole time. Well, here, and they were well, yelling and my, screaming. Here's my question: is, and they didn't okay, do anything. Here's here's my question: is like, well, okay, if you think that Trump being a thing is gonna like be so bad and so upsetting that it will inspire like a counter movement, then like. Okay, so here, like, for example, we are, we somewhat, like, an opposing party comes along and is like, hey, let's swing the pendulum the other way and do something different. Why would you then be like, nah, though, keep Trump? Like, shouldn't you be in favor of the counter movement? Well, I think, I think the, the, again, I'm just putting words in this guy's mouth, obviously, but yeah. if you, if you think the entire system needs to be torn down, like, a party solution obviously is not going to fix anything. Like, this guy I clearly guess, wants, like, violent action. I guess that's true. Um,. I don't want violent action, personally. I don't know about violent. He might just want... I mean, it, it, this based on the little detail we have, it sounds sure. like he probably wants smaller government, if I had to guess this guy's desires for how the I world think, should I be. Think, Unless whether, I'm misinterpreting Maybe, maybe violent action's putting too many words in it. But clearly, he wants a solution that's not government-based, because the, it sounds like the entire system is not... He has no faith in it anymore. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Like, it, it, it's like, even if Trump... Like being the president, people aren't gonna think, you know, because Trump was a bad president, therefore presidents are like a bad idea. And the, mm-hmm. per, the if the Democrat comes in next, they're mm-hmm. not gonna be thinking that f- for them because they're a different person. Yeah, if any, so it's not, are, it's not gonna dismantle anything. I mean, if any, like the the attitude is bad because it like people hate Trump so much that they'll fucking be happy with some fucking idiot like Joe Biden be, just because he's not Trump. And it's very yeah. distressing. It's very depressing. Yeah, I'm very sure. upset. I can't even think straight. Uh, well, I can't abide by that. I just found that's out that my... Deval Patrick's apparently going to run now, too. Yeah, that's right. Our old governor what? of Massachusetts. Are more people declaring? Oh, yeah. yeah. Hurry. Any day now, man. Any day now. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's her just, turn, Ben. And I want to have you mansplain her out of the race. <laughs> Stop. It's too late. The fucking debates are already going. Are you kidding me? Well, the I guess, I guess not the, yet the, begun, ben. the crackpot theory right now with Deval Patrick is that Fuck. because he's friends with Obama, he's going to have Obama basically backstab Biden and like come out yeah, and support yeah. Deval. Because Deval, Honestly, Deval Patrick was basically diet Obama <laughs> here in Massachusetts. He like had basically the exact same kind of like leanings. You know so what? They'll probably you know bill what? him as Obama too. To have to have Obama withdraw his support from Biden and back someone else and split up Biden's constituency sounds wonderful. So I change. I take back everything I said. I love you, Deval Patrick. Thank you for running. Thank <laughs> Are you, you for at doing all concerned this. that Deval Patrick could theoretically be worse than Biden in some way? That I don't know. Um, I'm just guessing. Well, I mean, I have no. Fu- I mean, I okay, have to look enough. into it. But probably not. I probably mean, probably not. If he's if he's he's probably just he's probably similar. He's probably similar to Biden. He's probably similar to Biden if 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 Obama is going to back him, um, but also like not senile, and also mm. just we got we to split that voting block. Hey, up. hey, b- by the way, dividing going back conquer. just slightly here. Um, uh, Gib on the on the subject of you, uh, you know, and your your discussion of labor. I was just curious because I had heard recently everybody's favorite political commentator Sargon. I heard him say the other day that uh. labor expects to take a, some 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 serious hits. Something like losing many, many of their boys. And I have no idea. I don't know British politics at all. Huh? But I'm wondering if you are, is that, is that, do you know of this? Is this something happening well, or is it like foolishness? A, what do you mean hits like election? I mean like assassins? half of them will be voted out of office in the upcoming election is what, is what the fear was. Sargon because, would say that. I mean, I haven't heard that. I've been watching mostly BBC News. Mm-hmm. And there's liberal like, media people, back at it again. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, BBC's generally impartial but they they do skew to the left Mm -hmm. um but uh i think the 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 people have been like saying 
that Labour has like thrown out so many big numbers, like I'm going to do this and this mm-hmm. and this, and all this money is going to come from uh, taxing the giant corporations and the super wealthy, and it's like. Yeah, but if you do that, the Amazon and Google will leave. You can't, you oh, can't expect sure, them sure. to actually give sure. the money. Um, so it's like, oh, h- how could you possibly? Uh, like he, he said the other day, mm-hmm. um, by twenty thirty, we're going to have f- super fast fiber optic broadband cables, mm-hmm. uh, uh, like owned by the the people rather than a company, and it's going to be called British Broadband, and we're going to give it to the the entire country. Okay. And it's like that's going to cost a lot of money. Um, but it would be nice, mm, but like mm. people were like, hmm, how are you gonna do that? It's like okay, I don't know okay. money, I don't know e- e- economics or like what the amount of money we have at the moment is in yeah, order to spend yeah. on that. And of course, Brexit is gonna change things like with trade deals and all that stuff. So mm-hmm. like, I, I've, I don't actually know okay, much about I how don't. how feasible most of these things that are being said by any party are. All I do know is that the conservatives have been running the country for a long time like a decade, and they have fucked it up in many, many ways, and I don't like them. So any Fair change enough. is good, Yay. and labor is pretty pretty, it's pretty good. Thumbs pretty good up. to me. Thanks, man. Thanks for that. <laughs> Thanks for making me feel a little better. <laughs> hmm. Well, well, anyone else got to weigh in? <laughs> Eliazar, feel free to drop a timestamp here to skip the <laughs> politics <laughs> discussion. You know, we, it's oh, not I like circle back. Oh, we good show, go. everybody. Time we to go to voicemails. everything everyone wants to hear about. <laughs> oh, wait, no, wait. One, one last little small sure, topic. Sure. Um, I went to uh, the Royal Albert Hall mm-hmm. a few days ago. A uh, big place, really big, uh, very cool. Um, mm-hmm. I was up in the gallery, uh, and I was seeing Snarky Puppy. The jazz. Oh, you showed uh, me that. Mike oh, Mike. my favorite streamer. <laughs> yes, my favorite uh, titty know. streamer on Twitch.tv. <laughs> yes, uh, she was streaming live in the Royal <laughs> Albert Hall. Uh, no, uh, like the jazz fusion prog rock cool guy band, full of uh, you got the the three piece brass uh, virtuosos and and like the super like percussion ma- maniacs and the and the drummer who was insane and they the, they're all going nuts playing their music and it was really fun and i was up in the very very top and it was like 20 pounds for that ticket it was a standing ticket Oof, okay, and okay. if you see pictures of the royal albert hall you can see you know there's chairs and there's boxes and this stuff but right at the top there's like this like big open space of a ring with just like a like a a ledge you just lean on it was so cool damn that's a like, big I, ass zone i'm looking at in this place uh here posting an image over in the chat over here uh it's it's like if 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 anybody has an opportunity to go to a place that has like a standing room at the top i don't Mm -hmm. know how many places have that but i really actually prefer it to having a seat because when you have a seat it's like a cinema you can't you can't like really your legs are stuck you don't have anywhere to actually put your drink without kicking it if there's no cup holder um, and every time somebody anywhere near you needs to go to the bathroom, you have to stand up and shuffle through. But when yeah. you're up at the top, you're just sort of standing. You're like you're you're like on the balcony basically, just looking at looking down. You can walk also, around. There's, these guys there's are like bars a... right behind us. You could just go and get a drink. It's and these great. guys are like a they're like a, a jamming ass fun boy kind of get up on your feet and move a little bit kind of group. Yeah, so you don't uh, want to be sitting down for this bullshit. Yeah, they 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 were grooving. They yeah. they had a big old bit where. Um, they were having a the, half the Royal Albert Hall was clapping three four and the other half was clapping four four mm-hmm. and it was like drum okay. beats. It was like whoa yeah clapping. It was like clapping and <laughs> tapping my feet and moving my head. Like yeah, this is really fucking good. I, I I've love been to some concerts. Snarky puppy. I've been to some concerts where like you're sitting down and it feel I feel bad for the performers because sitting down and watching feels. I, I mean I bought my dad tickets uh, for his birthday once to um uh oh shit what is it uh. Fleetwood Mac. We saw Fleetwood Mac once, and yeah. uh, it was uh, it was cool and all that. But uh, like we were sitting down in the area, and I just felt bad, like I wasn't being into the performance enough, even though it was totally sick and uh, it was awesome. Um, I forget the the guitarist, but he's a fucking shred uh, I, master. I guy. only know Albert Hall because mm-hmm. I heard a like World War Two like fight song one time that goes yeah. like Hitler. Has only got one ball, the other is in the Albert Hall, his mother. 
the dirty bugger <laughs> cut it off him when he was small. <laughs> <laughs> why, why? I don't remember where that, I heard that. That mm. that is a that is a fun like I think it's a football chant. Oh, it's yeah. just or it's just why would you, you chant would about Hitler at football? I mean, He's not probably no, did it during no, World War II or it's, something. It's a sing know. it's a sing song thing that like that that like melody would be yeah. sung at a football can, chant. Can you yeah. just but, like um, insert anyone in place of Hitler? It's the sort of it's the sort of thing I heard when I was a kid in 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 the playground like. You know, the edgy kid would say about Hitler has only got one ball. Hee hee. It's like it's like with the uh, Batman, the, the Christmas. Oh, what, what was it? Ah, oh, just. Um, yeah, um, Batmobile lost yeah, a yeah, wheel. Yeah, and yeah, the yeah, Joker, yeah. Got, Joker got, away. got away. Yeah, 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 yeah very yeah. edgy. Yeah. Very edgy. <laughs> yeah. Imagine the Joker um, winning. That's making fun of Hitler was a really fun pastime for for young schoolboys. <laughs> now we take for, it for some reason. And now I've made that really... hobby into my career, and let we me tell really you, it's going that. great. We didn't really do that as in America growing up because we didn't need we to. Yeah. We kicked his ass. We weren't. We beat weren't that. Up. We, we weren't, weren't that concerned know. about the whole Hitler question. Um, it was pretty much a settled question, I'd say. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> not a lot anyway, of ground to tread. Uh, just to finish the ins- the mm-hmm. the story, I, I put like a snippet of that on Instagram. Oh, uh, cool. and it was like really fucking sick and like, oh yeah, people are gonna love see like people are gonna be impressed that I like this kind of music. Mm-hmm. And put That's it on Instagram. <laughs> uh, and it got muted within a few hours. Oh, well, because like copyright? That. Yeah, but yeah. like it was a live performance. But I think the reason was no was they were re- they were recording it and um they said the guy said at the end, uh this recording was actually like a live album so, you know, oh. you're all going to be in it. And it's like, ooh, oh. I'm going to be in a live album. What if I yelled um, really but, loud the whole time so I get, a, like, a little what solo if, what if I What if album? I yelled really loud onto the album, uh, <laughs> patreon.com slash tpcrastinators? <laughs> ooh, that'd be good. Is it tpcrastinators? Yeah. It, it, it's the procrastinators. For the procrastinators. Whoops. Well, Whoops. everyone would have gone away. That's what I said. That's what I said. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Those assholes yeah. at tpcrastinators think, are going to see a spike. I think like that night they made a mix of it and then mm-hmm. it got copyrighted and I got fucked. Lol. <laughs> so that sucks. I don't Lame. like that that happened so quickly, but uh, whatever. Yeah, that's too bad. I mean, just as a competing theory, perhaps. I mean, th- okay, that all makes sense. But like some events like this, they just say no recording allowed, even if they're not making. They anything. they didn't have anything like that up no. there. No. Okay. And. I don't know, but it was it I was only, muted I only by, recorded right at the end. It was muted by Instagram, right? Not by um, like this company or this. Yeah, artist yeah. Or just whatever. well, I it I didn't get like an email saying it had been muted. It yeah, was just yeah. this video has no sound. Like a few hours later, it was like mm-hmm. oh. Lame. I have such well, a strong devious. sense of deja vu about this conversation had happened, but I know it couldn't have have happened. But my God, mm-hmm. deja vu. Made your um, dream powers are getting out of control. They're bleeding <laughs> into the waking world. We're seeing the future. No, that's the I, thing. Like, uh, it's always I always get the sense of deja vu only after it starts happening. I'm like, well, what good is that if I can't even tell if it's going to happen <laughs> in the future? Because deja vu <laughs> isn't real. It's an illusion. It's uh, just a mind well, playing a trick on itself. You know. Yeah. I mean, I did talk. I may have talked a while ago about a similar thing where um, I had filmed. Uh, like a record player playing a Led Zeppelin song, and that got muted. I don't know why I would have talked about that though. Maybe <laughs> because like it sounds very similar to the point of like what Nate was saying as well is also very similar too. It's your brain. It's tricking itself. I hate my brain. It does shit. Don't we all? Uh, time to time to take that that brain out behind the the, the bike sheds <laughs> and kill yeah. it. Speaking of killing it, uh, let's get to the voicemails. Yes. What do you say, lad? Wait, 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 wait! I got a, I got, okay, I got a right. funny, I got a funny story. Sure, so sure. I believe it or not, I'm going to be on. Uh, I don't believe it. I'm going to be on the next, mm. or it'll be the, it'll be tomorrow after this episode release. So this Saturday, mm. this upcoming Saturday, I'm going to be. Uh, me and Mumkey Jones are going to do an Is It mm-hmm. Kino. Uh, on, on Twitch, is that? So? All right. I guess he'll be streaming it. In, in, in Florian, I, I guess is it Kino is a Twitch show now. Um, yes. I guess. So. I think okay. most of his stuff is Twitch. Yeah. So he, they, they, those two invited me to do. Uh, what will you be reviewing? Uh, uh, well, they asked me if there were any underrated or unknown movies, mm-hmm. and and I was very excited. I immediately was like. Turbo Kid. Have you guys seen Turbo Kid? I've heard of it. I know it, but I have not seen it. Turbo Kid is fucking awesome, Mm -hmm. okay? Turbo Kid is sick as fuck, so I'm wicked stoked to expose Turbo Kid uh, to an audience. It's really good. 
Uh, so I guess me and Mumkey and Florian, aka Game Squid, I guess he'll be streaming it. I'll be streaming it on my Twitch as well, mm. and I think it'll probably be like one or two p.m. on Saturday. So I don't know. Twitch.tv slash Saint Comics. Woo! Well, there um, you go. <laughs> and, and also, everyone should watch Turbo Kid. It's really fucking cool movie. It's like a it's like a low it's like a low budget um like Canadian. It's sort of like a Mad Max kind of thing, but like the protagonist is like a kid who finds like a magic glove that makes him into a superhero. Is it quite uh, graphic? It is like comedically graphic. Like Ooh, there I don't are think like Jesus is gonna like this one. <laughs> there are like blood and guts, but it's like it's kind of silly. Uh, I think I remember uh, Red Letter Media giving it a favorable review back in the day. If I if wait, I really? Did Red Letter I, I, Media review Turbo Kid? I believe uh, so. it might have been like a wrap up or like usually, a, one I of know those. they talked about the sequel, not the sequel, but like the next movie that those guys did in like their 2018 wrap up. I'm gonna or Google whatever, it. Which was I think the summer of '84 was the next one they did. I can't remember. Okay. Yeah, here well, we go. Half in the bag, episode ninety-five, the visit and Turbo Kid. I must have watched no this uh, in twenty fifteen. No Holy shit! I'm fucking old. Uh, <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. A well, year in the past, did I remember it? This is four years ago, and I've been watching them the whole time. You know, that's I, like T Bap era. That we're getting to this point where like I'm starting to be like, oh yeah, that analysis video I just watched was really good. Let's check when it came out. Two thousand and eleven. Dude, or, yeah, yeah, know, yeah, yeah. No, I feel like the that. same way. Like I. I, I still think of like um I still feel like all the controversy about like the Ghostbusters remake as like recent controversy. It was like oh, sure. three fucking sure. years ago. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, Almost it's four. ancient. Yeah. So shocking. Like, I, shocking. I know as we get it's, older, it's very, time begins to accelerate. Our perception of time gets faster, and we're indeed. gonna we're gonna be indeed. forty it's, tomorrow. It's very distressing. It's the worst. Um, we, most of us are like rounding the corner to thirty, if not thirty already. I'll be thirty in uh, you know seven, eight months or so. Uh, That's the yeah. end of my life. Fa- uh, it's a fate worse than death. Let me tell you. I I believe you. I believe you. Uh, you're you're officially just entering the, the not cool 68. period. Because like if you do something before you're eighteen, you're a prodigy. If you do something like in your twenties, mm-hmm. you're pretty cool. Anything from thirty to sixty, it's like, well, of course, you're an adult. It's just you you're, you're normal. You're just you know, you're at the age where you should be doing But then it swings back things. around. If you're still like doing cool shit at sixty plus, then you're a badass yeah. old person. So yeah, prepare sure. for like three David decades Bowie of like nothing whatever. you do is anything other than expectation. And three decades of everyone just rolling your eyes at your you know, bullshit, and then mm-hmm, of course mm-hmm. take the fact that you're a white cis male and Oof. and add that, and it's just yeah. like so it's, it's just like it's a real. You'll be lucky battle. if you don't get the fucking guillotine in the next thirty years. Yeah, yeah, but. By the time I'm an old white man, old mm. white men will be illegal and I'll be killed immediately. <laughs> you know, I was yeah. just saying the other day, Gib, that you reminded me of a man who's sim- simultaneously 15 and 75 or something like that. Uh, in the best way. Yikes. <laughs> wait, wait. I remind you of that? Yeah, you. You. Y- young at heart, old of... Old of skeleton, body, <laughs> riddle of bone, bone, and weak of mind. You know, simultaneous. <laughs> riddle of bone, weak of mind. Yeah, the boomer mantra. <laughs> Is that a fucking t-shirt I hear? Is that a oh, fucking t-shirt I ooh, smell? That's good. Ooh, how about like a like a yes? I'm a boomer, and then it's like, and then on the back it <laughs> just says in big bold words: riddle of bone, weak of mind. Of mind. <laughs> <laughs> or ask me about how I'm a boomer. Uh, maybe with like the word like censored because it's a bad or like, word or like now. like that Sonic meme where it's like the letters vertically and it's supposed to spell out an acronym. It's like <laughs> yes, God. I'm a boomer, brittle of bone, weak, weak of, of mind. <laughs> All the other letters are empty. <laughs> <laughs> Something one one of these will work. Uh, yeah, get back to us, artistic designer uh, people with design. But wait, wait, what do you actually mean though? I don't know. You just simultaneously you have the air of someone who's both 13 and 75 at the same time. You just restated, but what, what does that mean? It's because you're... <laughs> Explain cause you're, yourself. I don't know, because you have like a, a slow, gentlemanly disposition about you, like an old man, but just also, I don't know, you are a small boy. Because I like yeah. Minecraft that's it. and, and <laughs> yeah, I'm <exactly>. stupid. <laughs> uh, I mean, that, that's yeah. it. That's all you're a 15-year-old you know, that talks you know, in the British really accent, like that, so you must be refined. <laughs> mm, that's, 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 definitely, that's definitely an advantage in my, in my favor. It is. Uh, mm. I, I do... I do enjoy being stupid and young <laughs> at heart that is my favorite thing to be so i'm glad that that comes across it but also does. being smart being smart and being smart is really good <laughs> you talk like a man of of a wizened uh, uh disposition i guess i hope when i am 75 i still s- seem like that at that That's point, my you'll, goal. Be a, you'll be full. Uh, hey, fellow kids, check out my skateboard. No, I'll I'll, I'll be <laughs> playing the the hot new game. 
<laughs> Minecraft patch. Minecraft like, two will two. finally be out. <laughs> it comes out fifty years from now. What if everything was a sphere in Minecraft two instead? And Mines, uh, no. mine sphere. We finally have the technology no. to make rounded corners. <laughs> yeah, instead, instead of crafting, you sphere things. <laughs> Uh, All right, let's let's get to these voicemails over here. It's we we can't delay the inevitable any longer. Um, mm-hmm. All right, link down below, people. Speak pipe. You know what to do. Leave us quality voicemails. Uh, we'll we'll you'll be kicked to the curb if it's some bullshit. Uh, but we've got our first boy up here. Uh, it's just statistics. Uh, let's let's hear what manner of statistics he has for us. Okay, go. So Nate definitely has something going on when he talks about the idea of one nightis and that being a mm-hmm. big problem. Because let's say you have a question on someone and you wait like a yeah. month to ask them out or whatever. That's a month that you could have asked out a hundred mm-hmm. other girls, right? So what I did as a social experiment, <laughs> right. as a meme, uh, that's what I say, but, you know, obviously it's not. <laughs> is I, well, when one week I asked out every single girl I had an interest in. I socialized for like one minute and then asked, you know, are you single kind of mm-hmm. thing? And I got 20 rejections and four yeses in one week. And statistically, there you go. Eventually, they'll say yes. You know, if you aren't like a stupid, like whiny <laughs> bitch, like oh, please be my girlfriend. I'm so <laughs> sad. That's not gonna work. If you just act like a human <laughs> being and you're just being cool, then eventually people will see it. People will think mm, you're funny. Mm. You know, I I didn't, didn't take rejections like a big deal. I was like, hey, worth a shot. And I like made flirty jokes because that's what yeah. funny people do. And that's all you have to do Lol, yes, to get a girlfriend sure. is just make yourself available and, like, tell everyone. I don't, I don't know, fuck. Maybe this isn't good advice. Yeah. I don't know. See, there you go. I think that's go. pretty good advice, probably. And I, yeah. Wait, so this no. guy got four yeses. Does this guy have four girlfriends uh, now? I, I He's spinning like plates he, like a good man should. He sure indeed. He should he, be. These are not, I don't think they're full-fledged girlfriends. I think, I think he got four, four like, sure, I'd like to single. hang out. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Wait, well, that's not fucking worth anything. It's, just because they well, say, no. yes, they're single. Well, I, I don't think he's saying that, like, I did it. I bagged a girlfriend from nothing. I think he's saying that, like, he's crossed you know, the threshold of being too afraid to even make that step. And now it's not a big deal anymore. So now he can go out and do it. Exactly. Exactly. This Wait, man's making progress. Okay, I'm just a little confused that like the goal of this exercise was not to like ask someone to be your girlfriend or even to ask for a date, but just to ask, no. "Are you single?" He's, no, and no, get no, the no, answer, no. Yes. What he said was that he asked. Mm-hmm. He was okay. talking to a bunch of girls. He asked twenty girls or whatever, and mm-hmm. the, most of them were taken, but four of them said they were single, and so he proceeded to ask them out, and they all rejected him. That's what he's saying. But he's saying, "Oh, with this no, method." No. What he said? No, no he said he got right. 20 rejections and four yeses. I thought the rejections uh, were for being single. Should, should we play it again real quick? Just to can clarify. We play, can we hear we, that part again? We need to rewind this. Please. We're, we're going to skip. Okay, just I have to play the beginning part, but just give it a second. It'll, okay. it'll get to the thing. You can cut this out, Eliazar, the beginning part if you want. And I got 20 rejections mm-hmm. and four yeses in one week. And statistic. Okay, that, that's it. He asked them out, got twenty rejections, but four yeses. Four people he asked out no, said but yes. Like, if if he would have continued, I think he would have like what he said was like, um, uh, and they can turn into girlfriends, or they can they can turn into uh, like like he hasn't. He's not going yeah, out. With them yeah, yeah. You don't you don't start with a girlfriend instantly. You he go said, out a few times. Or okay, something. but he got four. He asked them out, and he got four yeses. Correct. Correct. That's yeah. like four date equivalents. Four maybe, dates. Right. Yeah, okay. something like that. Yeah, and then he and then all on the same day, and he says, "Hey, girls," and they're all like, "What the fuck?" And, and then he you're had part to of a, a social fucking, experiment. He, he had to he had to do a fucking uh, Mrs. Doubtfire routine of running back <laughs> and forth between each one. Okay, but I think the takeaway here is clearly, boys, uh, man yeah, up and yeah, get I mean, shit done. Just give it a shot. Just give it a shot, man. No one's going to, you know, it's yeah. fine. It's cool. Just go I'm try. wondering where, like, he sounds like he's in school still. Like, yeah. he's got yeah, a youngin'. plenty of access uh, to 20 girls that he could uh, yeah, just go uh, up yeah. and talk Under to without sir, it being strange. When would there be, like, 20 girls around that is like, hmm, these are 20, out of all the girls I know, I the, I can narrow it down to these 20 that I might have some interest in. Okay, yeah, I, I would almost, guess for him it's in school. It's almost but, like, better to break the ice on a girl you don't want to go out with because when you get rejected, you don't feel bad about it. It's it's like, all right, I just did it. It's real. It happened. I, I didn't That's die right. from the question. In the I biz, we call them starter powers. bitches. <laughs> yeah, but why would you ask out a girl you don't want to go out with? Be- because well, there's, 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 the idea says, is yes. that if you're yeah. afraid, you don't, if you're awkward you around talking to people, like this is a way of like pushing you out of your comfort zone um, and growing as a person. 
On yeah, the but, one hand, I get that, but like, if she does say yes, then you would just, you just be going out like with a, a girl. fucking Chad. Look, there, there's nothing wrong with <laughs> going out with a girl and then saying to her later, like, yeah, you, you know, we went out a couple yeah. times, but uh, you know, I think that's okay. But if you know that you're not interested, okay, why would you even ask if you her even out? if you, you get a yes? Doesn't that doesn't that improve your confidence? Like, if you're if you're someone who's in like in your shell, like in your bubble, you you feel like you have. No value whatsoever, and that's why you're afraid to talk to women. And you talk to a girl, and even if you're not interested, she does want to go out with you. Does that not, like, to someone in this position, be like, wow, maybe I'm not a complete fucking lost case? Well, it, I, I mean, if she asks you out, with girls being treated it, as tested, it does make but, it does. Yeah, it's not about like, the fucking does, girls. Like, no one's right. denying this their is about humanity. Training, training your brain, like test dummies, or anything. I'm just shit. saying. I'm just saying. What isn't it weird? To, it's weird to ask out a girl that you're not interested in. Well, it's the same way like, that people sometimes they, well, they apply for jobs they don't want in? because it, it it improves their like ability to uh, do interviews and stuff, and like they become more confident as a person. Okay. It's the same I idea. Mean, is it yeah, you're developing you social get skills? That you get something out of a job, even if you don't like it, you still get paid. No, like people will get accepted for jobs and then not take them because they don't want to take them. They're they're doing the interviews to get better at interviews. Yeah, and and, and in that situation, you're not hurting anyone's feelings. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you go out and then you just say it doesn't work out. What's but this the, is like what's the issue here. What's the this I is like such a problem. one in a million shot anyway? Because if you're like still trying to like struggle through even making the sentence because you're socially awkward the chances of someone well, like okay. being like yeah i like autists let's do it like it's not it's small i mean but even if it does happen that'll a give you a confidence boost and b you can go out on one thing like have a weird coffee date and end it awkwardly after that or maybe something good will happen who knows the point is that you're trying to grow as a person and get better social skills and become more confident okay. in yourself how okay this I, is a I, net I, positive it's a net positive for you I'm just, I'm just like, maybe I have too much confidence in myself that I think it's not in one in a million. Like, there's no chance that this could go wrong. Like, I think that there's, there's a chance that if I talk to a girl that I'm not interested in, in ter- it, for, for can, can reasons we, of practice, and she says yes, not interested in, what I'll do have, you mean by that? What does that mean? As in, well, as in you I don't, don't want to go on a date with her. Okay, don't do that. That's dumb. Why would you do that? That doesn't make any sense. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's what I mean. That's what, yeah. There, there are many, many girls who. Okay. Well, I guess I would just. Dis- if that's what you're saying, Tom, I disagree. If you like, you you shouldn't ask someone out knowing you won't want to like date some them like at someone all, you are all. like have no interest in. I don't know. Is if you it, have nobody seemed, around you and you're just trying to develop the social skill, I think it's worth doing. No, ju- well, just just go out, just like literally go walk outside, like okay. to the supermarket. There'll be a girl there. Just be like, hey, sure. What's up? But this is a this is a fucking Tom. small case that probably won't exist. Right, but okay, if you're in right, that fine. situation, okay, let me, let me, it's better to do it than to not do it. If you're fucking that Tom, socially autistic, I suppose. I'm, ju- I'm saying that if you do that, if you if there's a girl that you have no interest in, you do not want to go on a date, but you're lacking in self confidence, and you're like, I'll ask her out and see if she says yes, and you ask her out and she says yes. I don't know if that isn't a positive because then you just i mean it's bad for her because you're maybe she likes you and you're gonna stand her up you're gonna have to reject her but like leaving that aside then you are just you just have this like weird social obligation now that you have to meet you don't you won't enjoy it you don't want to do it and you are you is it really gonna boost your confidence to know that you got a date with a girl that you didn't even like it's about it's about getting i i, I guess i it's not a good thing to happen but it's like it's a small bump in the road to getting to a better place mentally, in my opinion. Feel free to disagree. I think, I, I mean, I the, odds, the, the odds concept. of you going to Isn't a place. Isn't that lying, though, Tom? Isn't that like telling a lie, kind of asking a girl out who you don't yeah, want to go I out with? Yeah, I guess it kind of is. Yeah, okay. I, think, I guess it I think kind of the is. Thing, the, thing, the thing in my mind is just like, if like she's the only girl in the entire country sure. that you could but like that's, that's my whole point to, then... is that like like this is like such a fringe case that will probably never happen so i don't know why it's we're not hard, it. it's not hard to like find an attractive woman i mean it's almost like it's a hypothetical thing it's like where are you going to go where there's like there's just nobody that you have any like interest in even like on a surface level like it's that's my life okay, dude. Well, no, okay that's well, me. well your standards that's, that's are pretty I, high that's... ben that's my daily circumstances. Well, I guess Fair. you can stay in your house where there's just dudes. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Edge, edge case aside, practically speaking, like, women exist around you. You can, you can find one around that you have at least some desire to uh, sp- spend some amount of time with, and I would recommend trying on those Correct. ones. Correct. Okay. Just okay. get out Fair. there and do something. Please, God. Yes, that's the real takeaway. Okay, next voicemail. Here we go. This is from Quality Voicemail. Oh, right. This person, I I put a note that they're the voice of the people. Uh, This person is here to speak 
on the subject of getting into voicemails. Uh, uh, okay, I, I forget exactly what they said. Do we need said. another one of these? Uh, well, I remember this being decent, so let me, uh, well, I don't know. If I'm wrong, let's uh, judge please Nate's attack case. me physically. All right, let's, let's hear right. it. Go. So, I create quality mm-hmm. voicemails for you, and they're mostly real stories from my life. And you'll never play them. Ever. All right, Fuck I remember you, this. Ben Saint. <laughs> Fuck, Fuck you, dude. Nate what Best me? <laughs> Fuck you, Fuck oh, you, you too. Ho. You're okay, Tom Oliver. You too. Oh, hell well. yeah. <laughs> Great. That's, that's that that no, was awful. That was a waste okay. of my time. Okay, I'm sorry. The, the reason I, I put this great. guy in was because <laughs> <laughs> was because I want to laugh at this person. You are a, you are weak. You are pathetic. I have no sympathy for you. I put you on to be ridiculed. I I throw you in voice jail for something like this. No, uh, he's I don't know weak if else and, and suggestible. That's, the, that's exactly the kind of people I need to go to patreoncom polystation <laughs> too. Donate yeah, double I'm what fine. you think you can. <laughs> I, 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 I bring me you your tired and you're hungry and I will take what little you have <laughs> you think that just because you are living a life and taking time out of your life and sharing it on our voicemails we have some obligation to play your terrible sounding voicemail with your shit audio quality shit personality and shit life uh nah nah you can you can go you can go take our, a jog you can go our, jog our, on well, me un- Heaven, un- un- unless unless uh you know, it does happen because Nate wants to do this. Well, yeah. I mean, this is the except. Ha- have any of his life stories? I feel been like you've done a number of these things to 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 bring something shit on so that you could shit on it. Yeah. You've set the precedent on. that shit is a okay as long as well, you want to do yeah. it ironically. I mean, are they are they do the people want to be on to be told how terrible their lives are? Their I feel like some of them might get, some get of them something might. out of it. Attention is good attention. Mm. If you can't have fame, you might as well have infamy. Fair enough. Uh, how many how many more voicemails do we have? I, I think like four. Uh, all right, okay. let's, let's get to the next. Right, let's survive. machine gun them. Let's go. go, 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 go. Here we go. This is a uh, Harlock Asnable. Uh, he's called. Oh before. yes. All right, let's uh, let's let's hear. Uh, go. Hey guys, guess what? Hello. I just what? lost my virginity. Yeah. And you want to know yes. how I did it? Uh-huh. How I did it? I took Nate's advice. I went mm-hmm. to Anime Club. No joke. <laughs> yeah. And this no. great girl. She can fucking speak fluent Japanese. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so she's essentially perfect. And then, no. like, we started hanging out. And no. obviously, I'm a shy little pussy bitch, so I didn't say anything. No. But she essentially seduced me. No. That's sexual And it was assault. just great. It was great. <laughs> and, and you know what else is great? She's bisexual, mm-hmm. so we both appreciate how awesome women are. It's, it's fun. I like cool. It's so cool, so cool. I'm not a I'm not a virgin anymore, Munchie. So I <laughs> can leave real? voicemails now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I <assume> so. <laughs> Man, um, you get okay. late anime club. Let me tell you, there's some desperate hoes in there. Let me tell I, you about Harlock, it, boys. Harlock. I just want you to <laughs> reckon with the fact that you mm-hmm. will go to your grave carrying the shame <laughs> of knowing that you lost your virginity during No Nut November. Oh. Shake my fucking head. <laughs> I just—it's <laughs> wrong. It's tainted. No, I. Don't, I I have difficulty wrapping my mind around the point of No Nut November, if not yeah, to, like, pursue... Like, okay, you know, I, I know I said this last time, but, like, to me it seems like the point of not fapping is to, like, encourage you to socialize. It's, no, and, I think you know? a lot, no, a lot of people be, do no, it just for the bragging rights of, like, self-control, I suppose. It's to, okay, be, it's okay. to be morally pure and to defend mm. Western civilization <laughs> against degeneracy. What the That's fuck? what it's about. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sure. Sure. But but wouldn't one component the of that Jews be want us to fap, to... Tom? But oh. they want like... us to fap so that so that black men can steal our white women and miscegenate uh, the white race out of existence. <laughs> oh. Damn it! I hate when that all... happens. You don't fucking believe me? You've been fucking co-opted by the pedophile billionaires. Oh. Okay. Don't, the uh... satanic cult. But see, all right. But see, they got my point, What about Bernie wouldn't... though? Wouldn't he's, having sex he's with he someone fap. to, you know, be like childlike or to, you know, be in the sphere? Sure, obviously you're probably not gonna have a kid, but you're you're like closer to, you know, doing that than fapping. What? Know what I'm saying? I don't know. No, what? I wasn't listening. Oh, whatever. Who cares? All right, next voicemail. Next Here voice we go. Mail, please. Okay, we're just checking in on uh, this guy saying, uh, "Why no Radcon four? All right, let's 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 hear his question. Okay, I'm trying to be quick for just for Nate. So, okay, why isn't there already a Kickstarter for? Redcon 4. I mean, it's been fucking millennials since the last one, so true. why? Give me reasons. I need fucking reasons. Yeah. Quick update um, on that. You, you can blame me. It's my fault. 
Oh, I mean, okay. is it? Yeah, because I because I've we been crippled delaying. and I wouldn't be able to go to it. <laughs> so we weren't weren't sure when it was going to be oh, able to be held. I'm sure we would have fucked it up and not done it anyway. <laughs> well, uh, the, the, the Tom involvement was was one factor. That wasn't everything or anything. But um, beyond that, you know, we there got was a the Tom. There was the Tom and... factor. There was the Munchie factor. Yeah, the Munchie and factor. And then there was the the location factor. It, and indeed. also Nate's moving potentially to Virginia. I mean, the, there's, there's no hard plans that we could like. That could be totally worked around in many ways. That we don't I mean, need to. We, that doesn't matter that much but um, i mean we, we don't have a location picked or anything for it um we just we just haven't put uh any like real mental energy into f- picking making any of the tough decisions that need to go into a thing like this i mean i the, the the current status is there's there's a slight update which is just like at this point I, I i don't know if we talked about this recently or not but like all the main obstacles of like we know people's availability now we know the windows they, they might be somewhat limited and maybe a, take a little bit to get to it but we know that, that we just need to like sit down and and hash out what we want to do, where we're going to do it, you know, how much money is going to be involved, and if we Kickstarter or any of that stuff. Um, and oh, um, also, yeah, yeah. Um, there's there's a potential for Kickstarter fatigue because Digi said he was going to do like a Kickstarter for his uh, light novel yes, printing. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, and you know, did that not co- oh, so, he didn't do that yet, did he? He said he was gonna do that. Yeah, I don't soon. think he has. Hmm. We should beat him to the punch. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. They're not. Uh, then not he'll the have to the deal with us and not the other way around. There's, a, I mean, when it comes to Kickstarter fatigue, also part of the conversation of the of the can tent uh, business was there. There is discussion of a can tent Kickstarter to fund yes. my move to Virginia. Now we there's just, no. We should plans, just roll them know. into one and then have Radcon forever. Well, <laughs> you know, we, we're we going talked back about and forth why that wasn't. But, that may be we one talked, way to do I it. I think a while ago, or not a while ago, but like yeah. about the idea of consolidating content mm. uh, Kickstarter <laughs> and um, Radcon 4 Kickstarter. But I think it was unfavorably it was just, looked upon in general. Was it just it like was, too was, much? Because I don't know how much it'll fucking cost to move you. W- well, n- n- I mean, because the, the main expense of there. that, yeah, sorry, sorry, but like it's just the main expense of that, w- like for me, like I, I, I've just been looking over like the numbers, and I think it's going to cost me like roughly four thousand dollars. What like, the all told. fuck? I don't well, even think like, I, I own to... four thousand dollars worth of stuff. <laughs> I have to pay off my current lease. Well, Press I mean, F. like, that's how Press much F money would lease. be involved. I have to pay off my current lease. I have to then get a new lease with the money down on okay, that. Okay. So, like, that's already, like, I thought you meant you just had $4,000 then... in moving expenses. I'm like, how in oh, God's name? No, I'm, tr- I'm trying to consolidate, like, all the factors okay, in one okay. number for that. And then also, like, <laughs> movement, maybe buying new furniture or something. Uh, like, $4,000 to $5,000 is my estimate for that. So, like, we've been talking about, like, if we did, like, a Kickstarter for content or mix in with a piece of or whatever, like, uh, like a $4,000 to $5,000 chunk, I yeah, mean, that was, I, I would sure like feasible. to be fund Nate's moving expenses. And it's, like, h- how much sense does it make to put, like, that much in a large PCP thing as opposed to Is it fair to put your to moving expense on the people in the first place? Well, I mean, it, well, that all depends. If we can convince them that it's worth that, their money to make live content, I suppose, I suppose. then, you know, that's the pitch. Yeah, the, the idea was mm-hmm. content would get its own fan base and people would want yeah, Nate yeah. to be able to move to Digi's quicker. Mm-hmm. And so they would pledge to that. And once that's, like, locked and loaded, yeah. then a Radcon will be much easier to fund because Nate will already be wherever Digi is. And if that we do seems, it there... That seems more like a GoFundMe thing. Than a than a Kickstarter thing. Well, well okay, we, we're, we're just, we just we just haven't discussed the old the other big factor here, which is how we will come up with like yes. many specific productions that will be an integral part. Like, if you give us this money, you will get these content productions. I mean, we just you and I, I mean oh, okay. you know we haven't come up with that plan. As, as but that you can would see, the voice mailer, there's a lot involved. And yeah, just like yeah, the logistics exactly. There's a lot alone. that we haven't come to any agreement on. Like we might want to. It might make more sense to do it in Boston as well. But like you know, who knows? I think what so makes because the most three sense. of us are here, and only one or maybe two of us are going to be in Virginia. I, the, the X factor on that whole thing is just like, uh, do we want to like? Could we theoretically cram ourselves into Digi's place and like minimize costs by doing so? Would that mitigate the flight? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, care I where mean, we yeah. Do it, obviously, but... we should do wherever we can do it for the cheapest. We should do that's, it. That's totally what i Uh, think that's all i care about like the 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 thing i was thinking is um if nate is in virginia we might not you know i don't know how you would feel about people sharing your house accommodation ways Mm -hmm. but like digi's definitely fine with people staying over so if we have Mm -hmm. you know that's like 
a few people at Digi's house, maybe a few people at Nate's house. It's true. I mean, most we of the expense of Radcon 3 was renting the house, right? But yeah. The, the house itself was a large part of, like, the production, too, though. And, uh, I, I mean, like, how much... I, I mean, I've been to Digi's house a bunch of times. <laughs> well, like, literally once now, I guess, <laughs> Is it, for Do you think it's and... big enough to host a Radcon 4? Like, theoretically, yes, but, like, to, to both live and work there... Is it bigger than the place in there, Braintree was? Y- yes. Uh... I think so. Comparable sized, maybe. No, it's smaller, mm. but th- there's a good Wait, amount what? of space there. It's it's comparably so sized, it's smaller. I guess I'd say. Okay. Comparably right. sized, really? Because um, Digi was saying it was bigger. I don't, I don't, know, I don't, the I don't know. It's fine. It doesn't matter. It's, it's, it doesn't matter. This is this know. is all insider baseball that doesn't matter to the viewers. Next voicemail. Go go go. Right. Okay. Well, yeah, no, yeah, that, yeah, they, yeah. They, they probably would love to be hearing all this Radcon ideas. Oh shit! That was. I mean, look, the best way to get get a Radcon quicker is to give us more money. It's not even yeah, a lie. Yeah. Basically true. Uh, Basically true. Sure. I mean, okay. in general. Uh, all right. We'll go to the next one. Uh, what do we got here? This is from uh, Tio Tio. Who I think Tio. Oh, before. I know Tio. Tio. Yeah. Okay. There you go. I uh, still call him Tio. Say it. It's like a, maybe it's like t- maybe Tio's Tio. the GIF of my patrons. It's, it's, <laughs> it's just not right. happening. Okay. And go. So listen to the last episode, uh, and mm-hmm. uh, Nate starts talking about content, you know, the thing between him and J- Digi, and then he starts yeah. saying that yeah. uh, he's, it's designed to uh, bring in as many of the PCP members as, you know, they want. Uh, at, at that at that rate, why not just use the PCP channel? It has, a, oh, it has right. the audience okay. already there. That's it. All right. That's they, enough. We heard enough of that. I, I put that on because I, I don't know. This I've heard some discussion of why isn't it just on the PCP? There's I, just for all time. Here's the answer to that question. It's because doing things on the PCP can sometimes be a nightmare when you need to get everybody's permission and like you're putting videos out of financial stuffs all mixed up. So fuck it. We just split off new channel. We're in charge of it. We'll do all the money managing ourselves. No need to worry about what anybody else thinks. There's that's it. There's your answer. Whatever. Uh, good. Done. Mm-hmm. Out the cave. Next voicemail. A, yeah. This one, oh, okay. My favorite voicemail, of course. Here we go. Uh, calling out Ben Saint. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> it's time. At long last. Uh, we've this been waiting guy, for it. He's been on a bunch of voicemails, right? Calling out Ben Saint. I, this, I think or maybe, so. Or maybe it's just lots of people that want to do it. I, I, think, um, I don't okay. think this is the same one as before, but uh, let, let's, see. Okay. let's see. Okay, go. I'm not mad. Just disappointed in you, Ben. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You yeah. were yeah. the one who introduced me to Andrew Yang. This is you, all yeah, your yeah, fault. Yeah, I knew it. You unfollowed yeah, I know. him on Twitter. I can't oh. believe <laughs> you, Ben. ben I unfollowed Bernie, too. Ben. Ben. Sorry, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> so I've, have I, I think I've already explained that I was excited about Yang for a hot second there, mm-hmm. and then I fucking got my head out of my ass. Ben, unfollowing someone is like a death sentence. How could you do such a thing? Wait, Ben, <laughs> you unfollowed Bernie as well? Were you feeling the burn so hard you burnt out? I just unfo- I unfollowed all the politicians I was following. Ben, that's a I don't, great idea. It really I, is. I don't... I don't I don't need it. I just... It's fine. I don't need it. Oh my god, I'm so, I'm so proud of you. You're on the road to recovery. <laughs> no, I'm actually worse than ever. But uh, it's always darkest I, I, I before the dawn, agree. as they say. <laughs> I simply yeah. agree with what you and John said in your uh, in your podcast long ago. That I just think having too much politics. Now, there's maybe more that I know is is better than what I'm doing, but too much is probably a bad thing in my in my humble. It's yeah, every day, yeah, you yep. know, any of that. Mm-hmm. Very upset, very upset, constantly. Uh, <laughs> okay, next next email. All right, next one. Next okay. voicemail. Okay, here we go. This is the last one, and I, I think you'll all be happy to hear it. This is. Uh, from uh, by uh, Asha A M and uh, yes. let's, just, let's just let it speak for from itself. From the yeah, yeah yeah from drawings and whatnot you see her around. Let's let's Does hear what she P- has to say. PCP go. dating sim. Oh, you missed there we go. Mm-hmm. Want to follow Gibbs Lost Main again? Well, I have good news for you. With over thirty wacky characters, nine main routes, around twenty possible endings, and dozens of unique locations, Ooh. the PCP dating sim is real and releasing on Valentine's oh, Day, my twenty twenty. As if you fucking losers have anything better to do on that date. (laughs) The PCB date. Wait, no, we've confirmed one person will have something better to do. Girlfriend from Anime Club confirmed. (laughs) Oh, right. No, you think they'll last until February? You never know. You're no, fucking th- joking. You don't understand. Me. This isn't a relationship. Uh, th- there's no emotion there. They simply fuck. That's this relationship. <laughs> yeah. 
So Hell, in yeah. Japanese, <laughs> they're getting on that, that Disney the... Plus and thrust, as it were, the new hotness. <laughs> was, was that Asha or was yeah, that, I think that like, was Asha. the person's voice? I, I assume it was from her. Is I'm Asha gonna... like seven years old? Uh, <laughs> no, she's she's a uh, she's a uh, uh, a female. She, yeah, you didn't know that just Asha's as a... just as bad, <laughs> a lowly moid as we call her in the biz. But I forgive her. She's one of the good ones. Uh, she'll okay. be spared in the purge. She does. She I, does those art things. Yeah, I saw the tweets. I saw the tweet from uh, the PZP dating sim. Mm-hmm. I haven't mm-hmm. thought. I haven't th- uh, thought about it in a while. I was excited. And happy that it had not become vaporware. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, well, I wasn't paying attention. It's coming, I guess. Th- about it's three really months cool. from now. About three months yeah. until it comes out. So, I'm still do you hear that? Yeah. I mean, like twenty endings, scared. nine roots, or something. It was really fun. God damn, playing it. The the demo was really fun. So I'm fucking stoked. I only and, played a And little hopefully, game. I'll actually be in the game. I wasn't even in the demo. No, no, okay, no, it was no, a demo. Whatever. It was a demo. But whatever. No, it's fine. Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> Not mad. So they said never mad. Thirty thirty something characters. Ah, something like that. Yeah. So it's uh, I mean, cool. so it's like the the PCP endless war. A few other like miscellaneous. You play as PCP characters, guy, like of action course. giraffe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. It's going to be good. I'm excited. Uh, you, the school may or may be not by, uh, shot up by a surprise special guest character uh, of the PCP-verse. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um, oh, no. It's going to be good. Uh, I hope that's one of the endings. Oh, I I, yes, I certainly hope so. What if you can join him on his epic quest for, uh, you know, vengeance <laughs> against society? Shoot up everyone. That, uh, you know? Endless War would be in favor Damn. of that. Maybe that's how you get I Endless so. War, by engaging in Endless War in the, yeah. in the school, you know? Would make sense. Would Hell make sense. yeah. You gotta get you gotta get some slime first though. Mm, no doubt. No you doubt that's an integral part of the route. Something. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. Uh, fuck yeah. Coming Valentine's Day 2020. Look forward to it, everybody. By the way, we've done nothing. We deserve no credit. It's all these guys. Asha and, and Chip and uh, we I don't even know who We inspired them. And that's worth most of the That's worth, uh, I'd say, most all of, of the, the credit, earnings. I think. All of the earnings. Yeah. Most of the credit, I'd say. <laughs> yeah. It's only fair. <laughs> Uh, hell yeah. Is that the, is that the last That's one? That's it. That's the last one. We're all done. We're all wrapped up. Very exciting. Very fun. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Very good times. Mm-hmm. Well, that's it, boys. Uh, Patreon.com slash uh, The Procrastinators. Uh, bonus episodes. Oh, we filmed the new bonus episode early this month, so it's yeah. already recorded. It's uh, It was a good one. It was a very uh, good one. It was a, a, tell, actual, what it is. actual quality. <laughs> it is, it whoa, actually whoa. is Every quality. Every episode brims with quality. You just it's true. The definition uh, we use for quality in each episode uh, just that, changes. That's why I specify Not all qualities are quality, created equal. Yeah. <laughs> Not all qualities are created equal. <laughs> it, uh, uh, what, what's the word I was looking for? Oh, wait, there, I don't know how much the it listeners slaps. are the in The word you're the... looking for is it slaps. <laughs> it does slap. I think you guys are up on the meta of like, what, what do we call them? Topic episodes versus non-topic episodes. This was a topic it episode, was a topic which was episode. game mm-hmm. development, and we all had quite a bit to say on the subject and personal history, and you get to see some of our old projects, which we've linked in the in the video when it comes out, so uh, look forward to it. It's a good one. So $5 on patreon.com slash theprocrastinators mm-hmm. gets you that, and literally 31 other episodes of the bonus episodes, so it's well worth Hooray. it at this point. You're welcome. And uh, follow us at TPCrastinators on Twitter, updates, etc., where we retweet things like the PCP dating sim updates and whatnot. Um, and SpeakPipe, link down below. More voicemails. Keep them coming, boys. Appreciate the effort. Also, before before we sign yeah. off, I just want to mm-hmm. let everybody know who didn't see my tweet about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Procrastinators is now on Spotify ah, uh, after course. popular yes. demand. It is there. Uh, I don't know if it's it's indexed yet. It wasn't like the day I uploaded it and I haven't checked since, but the short okay. link is bit.ly slash PCP Spotify. It'll bring you right to it. Every episode is up there. Have a ball. Oh, and that's great. That's that's wonderful. And also there's like Apple, the the iTunes feed and the Google Play Store. They're, these are all now in the description right below like the, the main thing there. So all that stuff, you'll now be able to reach out. So there's no longer going to be issues of, I can't download the MP3 from Google Drive, hit our download limit. Just go to one of these podcast apps if you want to listen to it on there. I don't think we make any money, so stick with YouTube if you want to pay us for it. That's, uh, in fact, we may be losing money by doing this. Probably. I'm not, probably, to some degree. But, so hey, so that's we're, we're, we're business, banking baby. on brand loyalty. So if you're yes. not a patron yet, <laughs> wink, wink. Be uh, a patron. Bonus episodes. That's the way you support the shows. All right, there you go. That's Hell it yeah. for this week, everybody. We'll see you back next time. Bonus episode Fuck soon. Look yeah. forward to it. Have a good time. Bye. Good night. Bye. Mwah. Cha.